Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. Marvel. Projection System Box. Obtain Spider-Man Ability at the Beginning. Chapter 1. Leon is a second-generation immigrant whose parents are first-generation immigrants, and he grew up in this so-called free country, breathing the sickeningly sweet air every day. He is a crosser, from the moment he opens his eyes, he is already in this world, his parents died in a fire when he was more than four years old, he survived the fire alone, and finally was adopted by a kind white family and lived a dull life. He knows where this is, this is the Marvel Universe, and there are mutants in this world, some heroes, some criminals. He thought that this life could only be such an ordinary past, but yesterday he found that things didn't seem to be that simple. Lick box system, what the hell is this? Quote, Leon is in high school, and he is still close to graduation, and he can't wait to get home after school today, lock himself in his room, and fumble for new gadgets that only appeared yesterday. Host, Leon, capacity, none, number of projections, one. At this stage, you can project one time per day, and defeat the projection to drop the box. Closing parenthesis. Good value. 17. Kill value. 0. In front of him is a light curtain, and the light curtain shows these data, from last night in the middle of his sleep, until today he has been groping, but unfortunately there is no clue. Ha, huh, how is the good value 17 more points? Yesterday it was still 0. Quote. He was a little puzzled, and suddenly remembered that on the way back from school, he helped a wheelchair person and pushed him through the traffic light. Is there good value in doing good? Is that killing worth, is it evil? Or is it murder? Quote. System, explain good value and kill value. Drip, for the sake of becoming a hero, killing becomes a hero, good value can project superhero characters, kill value can project super criminal characters. I see, Leon understood. Projection Thor. Drip, the good value is not enough. Leon frowned, thought slightly, and then said, Project Iron Man. Quote. Drip, the good value is not enough. Project Spider-Man. Drip, the good value is not enough. Fact. Leon scratched his head a little, this is forcing himself to go out and do good deeds. Lao Tzu is not the virgin, how can there be so much idle work? He has never considered himself a good person, and what he does daily is just to maintain his superficial personality, and he really wants him to do good things for good values, and he is indeed a little entangled. Suddenly, Leon moved and said, Spider-Man when the projection only gained the ability. Quote. Drip, projecting Spider-Man's initial state, consumes 15 good points, and the host has 30 seconds to prepare. Success. Wait a minute. Even if it is Spider-Man who has just obtained the ability, the power is non-human, right? How could I possibly beat him? Quote. Leon suddenly felt a little numb, and then suddenly thought of something, rushed upstairs, came to his adoptive father's room, and found an M92 in a cabinet, a magazine with 15 bullets, his adoptive father is a policeman, there are many of these things in the family, but usually Leon does not care about these at all, and the adoptive father is also very at ease with him. He can play with guns and has a lot of experience, after all, he was dragged by his adoptive father to shoot targets. When the time comes, enter the projection space. The sound of the system sounded, Leon felt a change in front of his eyes, and then came to a clearing, this is an abandoned basketball court, the same as in reality, but the outside of the basketball court is pure white, there is no sky and no ground. On the opposite side stood a person, almost 1 meter 8, slightly shorter than him, wearing a sweatshirt jacket, standing there quietly. Peter Parker, the person in front of him is Spider-Man, his face is very familiar, he always feels that he seems to have seen it somewhere, but he can't remember anything, and it is not the appearance of any actor in the movies he watched in his previous life. Leon took a deep breath and suddenly pulled out his gun without saying a word. Snap, there was an explosion, but the young man on the opposite side suddenly twisted, dodged his shot at a strange angle, and then rushed directly towards him. The two were about 20 meters apart, but the man's speed was very fast, and he was about to arrive in front of him in a blink of an eye. Grew, Leon's eyes widened, this is not a normal person, who can dodge a bullet from a normal person. But at this time, he was strong and clear-minded, and then shot again. Snap, three shots in a row were dodged by the other party, and the action was simply showy, and the scalp was numb. Suddenly thought of something, Lizer shot again, but this time in the gap between the shots, the hand suddenly shook, 
The person on the other side immediately reacted, but the next moment the gunshot remembered. Snap. A bullet went directly through the chest of the other party, but the person on the opposite side did not fall, and seeing this, Leon fired a shot first, then a false shot, and then shot again. The opposite person obviously still had the strength to dodge, but in such an empty space, his ability itself was limited to play, and Leon was extremely chicken, six bullets, three of which hit him. Bang. Peter Parker fell, blood was oozing from his body, but Leon was not at ease, and shot his head three times with a gun in both hands, and the red and white things burst out, and then he saw Peter Parker's body disappear, and a box appeared in its original position. Leon hurriedly turned it on. Drip. Congratulations to the host for defeating the initial state Spider-Man, obtaining Spider-Man Ability Fragment 7, Spider-Man Suit 3. Inside the box are two compartments, one with several cards and the other with fabric. The next moment, the box in front of him disappeared, and Leon suddenly found that a light curtain automatically appeared in front of him, with his own data on the left side of the light curtain, and two more grids on the right. As soon as the mind moved, there was an extra card in his hand, and the words Spider-Man Ability were written on it. Spider-Man Abilities. How to use this thing. Quote. He thought about it and slapped the card on himself. Hum. A surging heat appeared on his body, and then swept through his body in an instant, stirring in his body, this feeling came and went quickly, but he clearly felt the changes in his body. The strength has become stronger, the vision has become much clearer, etc. The wrist was a little itchy, and then a little milky white thing oozed out, and when it met the air, it suddenly became tough, and he pulled the thing into a silk thread. Spider Silk. Leon laughed, and then directly took out the remaining cards, there were six cards left, he slapped them all on his body, the exact same heat flow stirred on his body, the strength continued to become stronger, and the surging feeling made him feel extremely refreshed. Hum, so comfortable, quote, this feeling is so refreshing, as if the whole person is evolving, he can clearly feel his own changes, everything he sees in front of him is becoming clearer and clearer, and his five senses become more and more acute. 7 Spider-Man Ability Fragments, I don't know how much increase it has brought me. As soon as his mind moved, a set of red and blue tights appeared in his hand, which was a Spider-Man suit. This is for me to be Spider-Man. Ha, huh, it seems to be a good choice, using Spider-Man's identity to get good values, you will not expose yourself at all. Quote. Leon burst out laughing, there could be nothing more perfect. The next moment, his eyes suddenly changed, and he appeared at home, still holding the Spider-Man suit in his hand. Oh, can this thing be put away? Quote, this thought only rose, the Spider-Man suit in his hand disappeared, and when he looked again, the suit was lying quietly in the lattice of the light curtain in front of him. Ha, huh, can you store things? He held the gun, and then his mind moved, and the gun in his hand disappeared. Lying grew, this ability bunker. The mind moved again, the M92 pistol appeared in his hand again, he hurriedly ran up again, put the pistol away, replenished the bullets in the magazine, and then cleaned up his traces, he didn't want his adoptive father to suspect. He went back to the room, took off his shirt, and immediately saw the change in himself. He is a man in his early 80s, and his appearance is very handsome, but now his facial contours have become angular, and his upper body is even more lean, and his muscles are not exaggerated, but he is full of power. I don't know that my current ability is a few percent of Spider-Man's own ability, and the opportunity once a day can't be wasted, go out and make good money. It is now more than 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and American high school generally ends around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and I have to say that the time is sufficient. As soon as his mind moved, the Spider-Man suit appeared in his hand, he took off his clothes and changed them, and then put on his own clothes outside, took out the phone and dialed out. The call was answered quickly. Hi George, I'm going to a party in the evening, I'll be back a little later, okay, I'll be back on time before 12, and help me say to Gwen, I'm sorry I forgot her birthday yesterday, I'll bring her a gift back today. Hanging up the phone, he grabbed his bag and ran out. His surname is Lei Mingong, of course, this is the Chinese name, after being adopted by this family, Leon became his first name, and the surname became Stacy. His adoptive father is the police chief of New York City, and his adoptive mother Helen is a lawyer, the family conditions are very good, and the absolute high-income middle class. So his growing up environment is very good, at least there is no bloody plot. 
Trotting all the way to a remote street, he reached out and touched the wall in front of him, and he felt a slight tingling sensation on his hand, and then his palm was firmly glued to the wall. He climbed up carefully, and in a short time he came to the roof, took off his clothes and backpack, put on his hood, and he was now another Spider-Man entirely. Phew, Leon took a deep breath, and then a run-up began to gallop forward, faster and faster, jumped sharply, his body jumped high, and when he fell, he was already on the roof of another building. Boo, he was in a good mood and enjoyed the feeling of galloping, and did not stop until he felt a little tired. So cool, he had already run to a place close to the city center, and in front of him was a towering skyscraper, stretched out his hand to aim at the opposite building, and with a flip of his wrist, a spider silk shot out directly, firmly sticking to the opposite building. Leon took a deep breath, jumped fiercely, and his body had already soared into the air and swung towards the opposite side. Oh, the feeling of swinging in the air was so cool, Leon shouted excitedly, loosened his hand, flipped his head in midair, and the next moment was already attached to the glass of the building. Climbing up quickly, he reached the top of the building in just half a minute. From here, looking down, everything in the city is in full view. The experiment is complete. It's time to get a good value, I can also be regarded as earning Spider-Man's reputation, right? Ha ha, quote. The body jumped back, the whole person was in free fall, and dozens of meters above the ground, another spider silk was launched, and with a swing of the force, the person had already flown up. This scene was seen by many people on the street, and they couldn't help but exclaim. From afternoon to night, Leon completely turned into Spider-Man, helping Grandma cross the street, helping children pick up balloons hanging from trees, and then punching down robbers, and even helping the police catch a fugitive. In these few hours, he has been extremely fulfilling, and the good value in the system has steadily increased. The good value is already more than 600, it is enough for the time being, buy a gift for Gwen and go back. Manhattan Island West Street, here is located in the middle of Manhattan, north of Central Park, south of Broadway, in a prosperous area, wide streets on the bus, both sides of the window, no matter who you want, here. Leon was still dressed as Spider-Man, and suddenly pulled spider silk from the sky, and passers-by were in an uproar when they saw this scene. Oh my god, that's Spider-Man, man, that's Spider-Man. Hi Mr. Spider-Man, can I be with you? Oh my god, it's the real Spider-Man. Leon waved to the crowd of onlookers, accepted a request for a photo of a little girl, and high-fived everyone one by one, and then walked into a store. He knew that his move today would definitely make headlines tomorrow, but, what about him, he is now Spider-Man, take off this skin, who knows who he is. He entered the store and picked out a rag doll that was one person tall, and it cost $200. Fortunately, the family that adopted him had good conditions, and he often went out to work, otherwise he really did not dare to buy it. Gentlemen and ladies, please let me go, I'm leaving. Leon squeezed out the crowd waved at everyone, and as soon as his wrist flipped, a spider silk stuck to the glass of the building next to him, and his whole person took advantage of the power to float away. The crowd did not want to disperse, and many people were cheering at his departing back. At this time, it was already about 11 o'clock at night, he held the big rag doll and enjoyed the night breeze, his heart was very happy, it took more than half an hour, he finally returned home. Without alerting the family, he quietly placed the rag doll at his sister Gwen's door, and then after washing, he lay on the bed, waited quietly until 12, and then called the system. System, projection initial state Spider-Man. Drip, projecting Spider-Man's initial state, consumes 15 good points, and the host has 30 seconds to prepare. After a night, he became very familiar with what he was capable of now, which also made him more confident. The next moment, he entered the projection space again, still the shabby basketball court, still the young man in the sweatshirt standing on the opposite side, facing him again, Leon was no longer nervous. Come on, this time, he took the initiative and rushed towards Peter Parker. Peter Parker's face is calm, it seems that this kind of virtual character lacks real human taste, and some are just instinctive. Leon punched Peter Parker in the face, who dodged with a swing of his head, his steps were a little rusty, but with spider sensing, such a punch could indeed be easily dodged. It was a temptation in itself, and Leon was not surprised, seeing Peter Parker punch in the gap between dodging, he also entered a special state at this moment. Spider sensing, 
he could clearly see Peter Parker's fist enlarging in front of his eyes, and he could dodge it if he wanted to. Leon did this, leaned short, and directly threw the opponent to the ground at the moment of punch, and Peter Parker immediately struggled. What a lot of strength. Leon was secretly shocked in his heart, with his current strength, he was actually a little unable to control the other party. He did not wrestle with him, but twisted his body, his arms directly strangled his neck, and his legs were tightly wrapped around his waist, and he suddenly brought out the guillotine in the fight. And Peter Parker was also fighting back, punching Leon in the waist, and he immediately felt a sharp pain hit him. Broken ribs. Leon could sense the damage on his body, and at least three ribs were broken under this punch. Die, he roared, using all his strength, and strangled Peter Parker's neck to death. Bang, another punch, Leon's face twitched, and he forced himself to endure it. Bang, 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 three punches in a row, all hit in the same place, Leon broke out in a cold sweat of pain, but the fierceness in his heart came out, and he didn't pay attention to these at all. Time passed by minute by minute, and as time passed, Peter Parker's fist became lighter and lighter, and finally after three minutes, with a click, Peter Parker's body froze, and then softened. Subsequently, Peter Parker's body disappeared, and then a box fell to the ground, and Leon hurriedly opened it. Drip, congratulations to the host for defeating the initial state Spider-Man and obtaining Spider-Man Ability Fragment Asterisk 12, Spider-Man Genius Thinking Fragment Asterisk 5. Two more grids appeared on the light curtain in front of him, together with the previous two, a total of four grids, and in these two grids, there were cards. The next moment, he came out of the projection space, opened his eyes, and found that he was still lying on the bed, touching his left rib, and there was no injury. It seems that being injured in the projection space does not affect the reality itself. Skillfully slapped 12 Spider-Man ability fragments on his body, a surging heat rushed on his body, calmed down for a while, and then he took out the five Spider-Man genius thinking fragments and slapped them on his body with a trace of doubt. At what time, his head became clear, as if his thinking had accelerated several times, and he even recalled the pictures that he had forgotten when he was a child. It seems that Spider-Man in the original book is a genius, which is a good feeling. Looking at the data on the light curtain, he found a difference from the afternoon. Host. Leon. Abilities. 73% Spider-Man abilities. Number of projections. Zero. It can be projected once a day. Good value. 626. Evil value. Zero. 73% Spider-Man ability. That is to say, the current self has 73% of the ability level during the Spider-Man total victory. In this case, tomorrow when I project him once, I should be able to complete 100%, will there be an upper limit to this? What if I continue to project Spider-Man later? Quote. He decided to try again tomorrow. Ah. Leon was woken up by a scream, opened his eyes in confusion, and the next moment he heard a bang, the door made an overwhelmed sound, and then a figure rushed in and jumped onto Leon's bed. Leon, is this your gift to me? A beautiful blonde girl with long hair and a shawl and a surprise on her face was staring at him. Leon had already come to his senses and looked at the girl in front of him differently. Gwen, please let me sleep a little longer, it's only six o'clock, aren't you going to sleep? Leon rubbed his head and collapsed on the bed, looking unlovable. Gwen held the giant ragdoll with a smile on her face. As a lady, I need to take care of my skin, go to bed early, get up early, exercise early. Also, your class time is 7 o'clock, I think you should be up at this time. Quote. Leon breathed a long sigh of relief, propped himself up and smiled at her. Look at you like this, are you forgiving me? Quote. Of course, no, only half forgave you. Quote. Gwen held the big rag doll and refused to let go, at this time George and Helen downstairs also walked up. Children, is there anything you want to share with us? George leaned against the door and laughed. Dad, look, this was given to me by Leon. Gwen said. I'm very happy to see that you two brothers and sisters have such a good relationship, but children, it's time for you to come down for breakfast, and Leon, it's not a good habit to lie in bed, especially at your age. George shrugged. Okay, okay, I'll get up now, dear Mama Helen, can you help me prepare more breakfast? I feel like I can eat a cow right now. Leon got up and stretched. Of course, my child. Helen also had a smile on her face. 
This is Leon's daily life at home. Yesterday was Gwen's birthday, and as a result, his system suddenly appeared yesterday, and Leon was groping the system all day long, a little muddy, so he forgot about it. In order to compensate Gwen, he had to buy a big rag doll last night, but now Gwen's appearance is sunny after the rain. He washed and packed and went downstairs, where breakfast was already set up at the table downstairs, a very ordinary American breakfast, sausages, bacon, corn, cheese, and bread. After living in this family for more than 10 years, Ren liked the family atmosphere, after breakfast, he went to school with Gwen, both of them were 18 years old, and it was the same year, Ren was a few months older than Gwen, he was in the same class, different classes. Leon drove to the school, and the two talked and laughed and grabbed textbooks in the storage box. Hey Gwen, are you free tonight? I'm throwing a party at home tonight, can I invite you to it? Quote. A voice interrupted the conversation between the two, and Leon turned to look over, it was a big young man with a strong build, he knew this guy, he was a member of the school's basketball team, and he was a well-known figure in the school. Sorry, Francher, I don't have time tonight. Gwen simply refused. Asian, can you leave? I have something to say to Gwen. Quote. With his shoulder, Francher tried to knock Leon directly to the side. In the United States, directly calling Asians Asians is obviously racist, and Leon knows very well that people like France, commonly known as school bullies, do not have a good impression of him. Didn't your parents teach you to be polite? Leon wondered. Asians. Francher felt offended, and without thinking, he threw a punch at Leon, and the people around him exclaimed. Snap. Leon directly squeezed his fist with one hand, and then pressed his arm down with a slight effort. Man, I think you should learn to be polite first. Leon would not get used to him, and pushed directly forward, and Francher flew straight out two or three meters and fell to the ground. I'll kill you. Quote, as a typical guy with muscles and no brains, Francher's reaction was to explode directly, get up and rush towards Leon, but Leon kicked out, this guy directly crowed on the plane, hit the wall all of a sudden, fell down and held his stomach in pain. Enough. France, I'm disappointed in you. Quote, as Leon's sister, she is now acting quite angry. Francher stared at Leon with resentment in his eyes, fortunately, Leon didn't use too much force just now, otherwise he would definitely be kicked to death, covered his stomach and got up and glanced at Leon with hatred, turned around and walked out. The people who stood in front of him automatically let go, but a person walked forward with some reluctance, and when the two were about to meet together, the person suddenly twisted his body strangely, and Francher, who was originally going to hit directly with his shoulder, suddenly lost the center and fell to the ground again. There was a burst of laughter around, and Francher felt embarrassed to go home, and at this time he didn't have the heart to think about that person, and now he just wanted to leave here. Sorry Francher, I didn't pay attention to you. The man apologized, but Francher just glared at him with angry eyes and left. Hi Gwen, good morning. The man saw Gwen and a smile appeared on his face, and this smile was a little unnatural, like, the licking dog met the goddess. Hi Peter. Leon was stunned when he saw this person, he knew the person in front of him. Spider-Man Peter Parker. No wonder I always felt that the Spider-Man in the projection was very familiar, it turned out to be him. Leon understood at once, and looked at Gwen, who was smiling at Peter next to him. Gwen Stacy, lie down. My mother and Spider-Man have been classmates for so long, I don't even notice it. Quote. If you want to blame, you can only blame Leon for being too low-key before the system, even if he knows that his sister is called Gwen, he didn't think about this aspect at all. Leon, I'm going to the classroom, see you at noon. Gwen waved at Leon, and then walked towards the classroom with Peter Parker. If you want to, these two guys have obviously gotten together, am I a little impressive? Growing up with Gwen since childhood, the relationship between the two is only affectionate, there is no slightest child's private affair, the day national orthopedics described in the novel do not exist at home, but now looking at the back of the two, he inexplicably gave birth to a feeling that the sister was arched by a pig. Pulling out his mobile phone to dial, the person on the other side had already answered, and he muttered for a while before speaking. George, I think there is something I need to tell you, our little princess is estimated to have been arched by the pig. What? Leon hung up the phone directly after speaking, and ignored how surprised George would be, 
this is not his business, as two men in the family, the feeling of a good cabbage being arched by a pig in the family, he felt that he had to learn to share. The morning homework is just like that, Leon feels good today, his mind is a lot quicker, and he is handy in learning things, although he is not a top student, but his grades have always been outstanding in the class. At noon, he saw Gwen and Peter talking and laughing in the cafeteria. Leon, come over here. Gwen greeted from a distance. Leon brought the food over, and Peter Parker smiled at him when he saw him, and Leon twitched his face and returned a stiff smile. He knows the original plot, and when he thinks of Gwen's future encounters, he doesn't have much good feelings for Peter Parker, especially this grandson is still so fleshy, as a brother-in-law, he really can't like it. Gwen, I think it's necessary for you to introduce him to George and Helen. Leon said seriously. Gwen rolled her eyes, please, now is not the time. Quote. So you two are already in bed. Don't you ask so directly, okay. I will answer you and no. Gwen rubbed her head and had a headache. Leon nodded and said to Peter with a strange look, although I would like you to stay away from my sister, it is estimated that if I do this, she will definitely hate me, so please don't take her into any dangerous things, otherwise I will kill you. Quote. Leon. Gwen got up a little angrily. You mean it, right? Leon shook his head and said, I'm just exercising the responsibilities of an older brother, believe me, I, like George and Helen, want you to be happy and not hurt. Quote. Peter Parker stood up and said, Leon, I promise you, I will protect Gwen. Quote. I hope you do what you say. Leon stopped paying attention to him after speaking, and ate his own food, the atmosphere on the table was a little strange, Gwen was confused by Leon's words and lost interest in speaking, Peter was like a nerd and didn't know what to say, with his broken mouth, being so silent now was enough to show the pressure that Leon brought him. Of course, this pressure is purely because Leon is Gwen's older brother. Leon thinks that Gwen can't fight him, but he doesn't care, he is now full of thoughts about saving the world after school and earning good value, and he can't think of anything else. After school, he found Gwen and said, since you have a boyfriend, then the task of sending you home will be given to him, I still have business, tell Helen's mother, don't wait for me for dinner, I will go back before 12. Quote. After saying that, the car rode into the dust. This guy definitely has something to hide from me. Quote. Gwen was indignant, but helpless, Peter Parker looked at the direction of the car leaving with some doubt, he was still happy in his heart, at least he had time alone with Gwen. Leon, on the other side, drove the car directly to the city, found a parking lot, and then changed into a Spider-Man suit, bypassing some monitors and climbing to the top of a tall building. Spider-Man is online, little scoundrels, ready for supernumerary cop love. Muttering so, he rolled over and jumped down. Gwen returned home and told her mother Helen what Leon had to say, and the latter did not say much about Leon, who was already an adult. After dinner, the family sat on the sofa and watched TV, when the news happened to be broadcast until yesterday's events, and saw Spider-Man on the TV holding a big rag doll out of the store, saying goodbye to the crowd, and then leaving dashingly. Ha! Huh. After Gwen saw the rag doll, she immediately felt very familiar, and then hurried upstairs, searched for news pictures with her mobile phone, and then compared it with the big rag doll on her bed, and immediately found that the two were exactly the same. She hurried to call Peter. Peter, did you go buy me a rag doll last night? She knows Peter's true identity and is no stranger to Spider-Man's identity. What? Peter on the other end of the phone was stunned, and then said, Did you see the news? It's not me, it's someone acting through my identity, and I have to find that guy now. Quote. Gwen opened her mouth and wanted to tell the origin of this rag doll, but after thinking about it, she still didn't speak. Then you pay attention to safety. She hung up the phone and called Leon again. Dear Gwen, is there something going on? Where are you now? Gwen asked. I'm out for a ride, what's wrong? Leon said. Are you Spider-Man? Gwen asked directly. What? Why do you ask that? I'm certainly not Spider-Man. Leon, of course, denied it. Okay, I'm hanging. Gwen hung up the phone directly, pinching the phone a little bit. He must have something to hide from me, and that ragdoll won't be so clever. Leon on the other side heard the busy tone in his ear, put down the phone with some weakness, and thinking about it, he found that he was too excited yesterday and seemed to be a little too high profile. 
She wouldn't have found anything, would she? Shaking his head, he didn't think about it again. After solving a thief and sending him to the police station, he was standing on the roof of a tall building enjoying the scenery, and just as he was about to jump, Spider Sense suddenly noticed a line of sight watching him. Turning his head, at the top of the opposite building, there was a man squatting, who was wearing a set of tights, red and blue stripes, exactly the same as what he was wearing now, and the eyes under the hood were staring at him deadly. Ah, the genuine Spider-Man came, and Leon didn't expect to find him so soon than Peter Parker. Slip first, Leon shot a spider silk directly, and then greased the soles of his feet, but that line of sight was always on him, and when he looked back, Peter Parker was chasing him in the same motion. It's fun. Then a strange scene was staged between the tall buildings, the two Spider-Men were in front of each other, escaping and chasing, and were quickly sweeping towards the distance, and this scene was seen by many people. Leon wore the exact same suit as the original Spider-Man Peter Parker, and the two of them swung around the tall buildings with spider silk one after the other, and left towards the distance at a very fast speed. This chase escaped, more than half an hour passed in a blink of an eye, the two from the lively downtown, all the way to the east side of New York, Leon stopped on a tall building, looked back, Peter Parker just landed in front of him. Hey, who are you? Peter Parker said. As you can see, I'm Spider-Man. Leon shrugged, deliberately lowering his voice. He has been running for more than half an hour, but he didn't shake off Peter, and he had to sigh a genuine Spider-Man's persistence. Falca, do you know what you're talking about? Standing in front of you is Spider-Man, and you are nothing more than a fake. Quote. Peter Parker's mouth was far more broken than expected. Take off this dress for me, you're insulting me. Leon shrugged, what does it matter? It's all the same as to do good people, I'm using this identity to help others, then in the hearts of others, I am the real Spider-Man, what is the difference between true and false? Quote. Fact. Peter Parker suddenly raised his wrist, and a spider silk shot directly over, aiming directly at Leon's face. And Leon already reacted the moment he moved, and when his body shook, he had already dodged this blow, and at the same time shot a spider silk, shooting towards Peter's hood, and Peter's movement was extremely fast, directly dodged. Both have the same abilities, the same spider sensing, the same agile reflexes, and relatively not too much power. Immediately afterwards, the two of them played together, and you came and went so lively. Bang! Leon blocked Peter Parker's punch, and his body couldn't help shaking slightly, his arm hurt, and he secretly said a lot of strength. Then he also did not want to show weakness and counterattacked, and the move was very fierce, which caught Peter, who had planned to keep some hands off, by surprise, and had no choice but to concentrate on it. The two are like gladiators, both want to knock each other down but Leon is still a little worse than the genuine Spider-Man in terms of ability, and Peter Parker's shot is not as fierce as Leon, so it took 10 minutes to fight, and neither side could help anyone. It's because of such a fight, both of them have pain and pain. Who the hell are you guy? Peter Parker was furious. Go away boy, I don't want to entangle with you anymore. This can't be, you can't use my identity anymore. Peter Parker was speaking, suddenly heard a roar in his ears, turned his head sharply, and saw a helicopter hovering in the sky in the distance, and at the same time, Leon also found the helicopter. Didn't anyone tell you that you can't turn back when you fight? Leon punched Peter Parker in the face, knocking him in the air, who was furious. With that, he threw himself at Leon. The BBC Nightly News is now broadcasting a message that two Spider-Men are fighting on the Cortelt building at this time, they are both wearing the same tights, but one of them can be distinguished as a little taller, and we have reason to believe that one of them must be fake. Gwen was still paying attention to the news, and immediately covered her head after seeing this news, although she had no evidence to prove the identity of the fake Spider-Man, she had reason to believe that the person was Leon. Oh my god, there's trouble now. She rubbed her brows, very headache. What's wrong Gwen? George asked. Dad, it's nothing, just some headaches. Need a break, no need, I have something to wait for Leon to come back and ask him, this guy is a little too free these two days, dad you should have grounded him. George smiled and said, he's already an adult, and I'm looking forward to him bringing his girlfriend home. Besides, Gwen, don't you have anything to tell me? Quote. What's going on? Gwen suddenly had a bad premonition. Like your boyfriend, I'd love to talk to you about this topic. Quote. 
Gwen slammed her head on the door, leaned over the couch, and her premonition came true, and she sighed, Okay dad, I admit I have a boyfriend. Quote. Who is he? What is your name? Is it your classmate? Are you still in bed? Helen came interested. Oh my god, mom, why do you ask that? Why do you and Leon care if I have a bed with Peter? Gwen Sheng is loveless. Ahem, you are already an adult, we will not interfere in your private life, but as a father, I have to tell you, remember to take protective measures, your mother and I are not ready to be grandparents. George said. Okay, okay, I'll take into account your opinion, but can you end this topic for now? I want to watch the news. Quote. Gwen's head hurts, her boyfriend and brother are Spider-Man, and the joke is big. Okay, end the topic for now, but tomorrow you can invite your boyfriend to the house, and your mother and I need to meet him. On the other hand, Leon and Peter Parker are still fighting hotly, but gradually both of them have some intention of stopping, because neither of them wants to become newsmakers or become newsmakers in this state. But the two of them are already about to fight, even if they want to stop, they have to fall down first. Just when Leon was thinking about whether to be ruthless and kill Spider-Man like in the projection space, there was a sudden loud noise in his ears, followed by gunshots. Peter Parker also heard the gunshots, did not untangle with Leon anymore, came to the side of the building and looked down, and saw a cry from the street in the distance, a large group of passers-by were fleeing, and in a bank on the street, there were gunshots. Someone is robbing the bank, we'll talk about it later. Quote, Peter Parker said he was about to leave, but Leon was faster than he was and had already jumped. Fact, Peter had to hurriedly shoot out a spider silk, followed the trajectory of Leon's fall, and jumped with him. The streets were now in chaos, many people were crying and fleeing from this side, and after Leon fell, he hid behind a car, he saw several robbers in the bank, who had already controlled several hostages, and another robber forced the bank insiders to open the door of the vault and were transporting money outside. It has to be said that the division of labor of this group of robbers is very clear, and it is obviously fully prepared. Peter landed beside Leon and crouched down, saying, I am in charge of the robbers, and you are in charge of the hostages, but you have to ensure the safety of the hostages. Quote. The robbers are mine, and the hostages are yours. Leon said that he had already rushed out, Peter Parker saw this and cursed secretly, so he could only bite the bullet and rush in, and this scene at this time was just filmed by a helicopter in the sky. In George's family, George gets a call, puts on his coat and goes out, he is the police chief of New York City, he needs to lead the team in this situation, and Helen and Gwen can only pray for his safety at home. Especially Gwen, she knew the identities of the two spider mons, and at this time her heart was very complicated, so she came outside alone and dialed a number with her mobile phone. Gwen, I'm busy right now, tell Helen I'll go back later. As soon as Leon solved the robber, he heard the mobile phone ringing on his body, and only after looking at the number did he connect, and he was ready to hang up the phone after speaking directly. George went to your side, don't deny it, I know you're Spider-Man too, tell Peter, you two must keep George safe. Gwen said and hung up. What's this called? Leon's head is big. At this time, the spider induction told him of the danger, he subconsciously turned sideways, heard a gunshot in his ears, and a robber shot at him. He shot a spider silk directly, stuck the robber's gun, and snatched the gun as soon as he pulled it. Snap, 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 Leon fired, and under three shots, three robbers fell to the ground, all killed with one shot. Hey, you can't do this, they should be handed over to the police. Quote. Peter over there immediately prepared to stop him when he saw it. Listen boy, Leon pointed a gun at Peter and said, I don't care about the life and death of these robbers, I just want to save people, in addition, your girlfriend asked me to bring you a message, her father will be here soon, she needs you to ensure her father's safety, if you don't want him to get hurt, give me a hurry. Quote. What? Peter was stunned when he heard this, and at this time Leon turned over and dodged a robber's bullet, and with two backhand shots, he killed the robber. Peter had to put aside his doubts, shot out several spider silks in a row, entangled in a few hostages, and then pulled, under the huge force, those hostages were directly pulled out by him. In this gap, Leon shot all the remaining bullets in the gun and killed four more robbers, at this time there were only four robbers left in the bank, but none of these four people controlled a hostage in front of them. Stop me or I'll burst her head. 
A robber saw two Spider-Men appear here, and one of them was extremely ruthless, killing seven or eight of his companions at once, and his heart was terrified. Hey man, don't be nervous, he's not Spider-Man, I am, and can you please put down the gun? The hostages are innocent, Peter Parker said. Leon pouted after hearing this, but at this time the robbers just happened to be attracted by Peter's attention, and his whole person took the opportunity to fly up, shooting four spider silks in a row with both hands, accurately sticking the hands holding the guns of the four people together with the guns, pulling fiercely, and the four robbers flew towards him with the hostages they were holding. He didn't care if the hostages would be injured, he just wanted to solve these people as quickly as possible. At this time, Peter Parker suddenly shot out four spider silks, sticking to the four hostages, and as soon as they were pulled, the four hostages were out of the control of the robbers. Bang, 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 Leon punched and kicked these people cleanly, and the four robbers died directly. Bang, suddenly, another gunshot rang out, and a robber appeared in the vault and fired a shot outside, but was easily dodged by Leon. Get out of the way, or I'll blow up here. The robbers shouted nervously. There were obviously still robbers in the bank vault, and Peter Parker was a little hesitant, he didn't know if there were still hostages inside, if he ventured in, the people inside were likely to hurt the hostages. At this time, Leon was planning to rush directly in, but Peter Parker stopped him. Do you know what you're doing? We don't know if there are hostages inside, but if you go in now, in case there are hostages inside, they will probably shoot the hostages. Quote, Leon does not have as many scruples as him, if he can save the hostages, then he can get good value, if he can't save the hostage, kill the remaining robbers, then he can also get the killing value, how to calculate it is all he earns. Are you serious? Leon asked. Of course, you can't act recklessly in this outfit. Peter Parker said. Now is not the time for infighting, Leon shrugged, before he could speak, there was a series of breaks outside the door, and then he saw one police officer after another running down from the car, and in a blink of an eye, he gambled on the door. People inside, raise your hands and lie on the ground, or I will kill you. Leon immediately felt many eyes on him, and these eyes were full of vigilance. Hi guys, I'm Spider-Man, I'm here to solve the problem. Peter Parker raised his hand. Someone already recognized him, but when they saw Leon, these people looked obviously strange. Who is he? Leon said directly. I am also Spider-Man, I am confused with him, and we have just formed a group called the Chopstick Brothers. Quote. Peter Parker turned his head to look at you, and even with a mask covering it, Leon could guess that his expression must be the same as constipation. It is recommended that you transfer the bodies of these robbers first, there are still a few robbers in the vault of this bank, but it is not yet possible to determine whether there are hostages. Leon said. Quick, find the managers here, we need to know the situation in the vault. The policeman who led the team also knew that now was not the time to think about this, so he quickly arranged it, and after a while, he found the management here, and learned from him that there was a monitoring in the vault in the office. The policeman who led the team quickly led the people over, and Leon and Peter Parker followed. Stop, you can't follow. A policeman said, I need to save people, and in case there are hostages, you must also ensure the safety of the hostages, you can't refuse me at this time. Peter Parker said. Leon didn't talk so nonsense and followed directly. Seeing that some policemen were ready to raise their guns, the policeman leading the team spoke up at this time. Let them together, we need them. Leon shrugged, as if he had expected this to be the case, and directly followed, and the group entered an office, which was already guarded outside, and then the person in charge turned on the monitor. Sure enough, there were also hostages, there were three hostages, and five other robbers, three of whom had rifles and two of whom were carrying pistols. A police officer said. The hearts of the crowd sank, pistols were often more dangerous than rifles, because pistols were more concealed. Give me three flash grenades, I'll go in and get rid of the robbers. Leon stretched out his hand and said to Spider-Man at the same time, you are with me, you are responsible for the safety of the hostages. Quote. The policeman in charge was thinking about the pros and cons, when a man's voice came in from the doorway. Promise him that now we have no choice. A person walked in, and Leon scratched his head a little when he saw it. The person who came in was none other than George Stacy, his adoptive father. But the chief, nothing, do as I say. 
George Stacy said to Leon, Mr. Spider-Man, we need your help, please be sure to ensure the safety of the hostages inside. Quote, I will. For his adoptive father's request, Leon is not easy to refuse, so he should do a good deed. He has made up his mind that after going back this time, he has to quickly get all of Spider-Man's abilities, after all, he has only been projected twice, and his abilities are still slightly worse than the real Spider-Man Peter Parker. Three flash grenades were placed in Leon's hand, he also asked for a gun, really went inside, he was confident that with his current reaction ability and marksmanship, he would definitely be able to kill those robbers in an instant. Flash bombs, also known as shock bombs, can instantly make people see and hear, and produce severe vertigo, and it is just right to use this thing to buy time. Let's go, man, Leon said and turned over directly, Peter Parker did not agree with Leon's attitude, but at this time he couldn't care too much, compared to Leon treating robbers and hostages as experience points, he was more concerned about the safety of hostages. Through the monitor just now, Leon saw the movements of the five robbers inside, they were all carefully staring at the door of the vault, and the three hostages were used by them as human shields in front of them, in this case, if you want to save people, it is impossible for ordinary people to complete it, even Peter Parker is a little scary in this situation. But Leon did not have any scruples in this regard, he came to the door and hid aside, very directly pulled the lead of the three shock bombs, and then silently counted for a few seconds, and then threw the three shock bombs in his hand directly in. With a clever effort, the shock bomb quickly flew in, scattered directly in the air, and the finished glyph fell, just wrapping the robbers and the eight people with the hostages. Bang! Three muffled sounds converged together, the voice was sharp, and instant flashes filled every corner of the room, and none of the five robbers fell, all of them were in front of their eyes, and suddenly a tingling pain came from both eyes, as did the three hostages. Ah! Someone subconsciously screamed, and at this moment, Leon flashed into it and raised his hand to the person closest to him. Snap! One shot, the robber was shot in the eyebrow. Snap! Two more shots, and the other two hostage-taking robbers were also directly headshot. Peter Parker also has unparalleled reflexes, and the moment he flashed into it, he also followed in, shooting three spider silks in a row, sticking the hostages in it, and directly pulling the hostages out as he had saved others before. All this happened between the electric flint, and I have to say that although there is some disagreement between the two, the cooperation this time is seamless. In the blink of an eye, there were only two robbers left in Jin's suffering, Leon raised the gun again, and without saying a word, it was two more shots, with his nerve reaction speed, such an action was as fast as lightning in the eyes of the two robbers, and there was no reaction time at all, and the two robbers were killed by Leon in two gunshots. Okay, mission accomplished. Leon threw the gun to the ground and turned to look at Peter Parker. I have to leave, good luck. After saying that, without giving Peter Parker time to react, he directly shot a spider silk outside, and with the help of the elasticity of the spider silk, the person had disappeared in front of Peter Parker's eyes. At this time, if you don't slip away, maybe you really won't have a chance for a while, and he was chased all the way by him before, but he knows how difficult Peter Parker is. What? Peter Parker was shocked, and hurriedly reflexively tried to catch up, but there was a strong wind in front of him, and then a spider web directly blocked the door of the vault, if he wanted to leave it, he would have to waste at least a few seconds, but this effort, Leon has already slipped away. A group of police officers and Peter Parker just watched him disappear in front of him, and it was impossible to catch up again, while Leon spent about 10 minutes to get to the place where he parked before, changed his clothes and drove away. All the way home, it was more than an hour after returning home, and the two women in the family had not slept, when the TV news had reported everything that had happened before, and then George was seen in the TV interview. This operation, my colleagues and I would like to thank Spider-Man, who saved these innocent people who were kidnapped by the robbers, and this operation was also very successful, in addition to a few robbers who died in the shootout. We also captured several robbers alive, and then we will ask their accomplices from their mouths to try to kill this criminal organization. George was naturally interviewed, and it was obviously not the first time he had experienced this kind of battle. Leon, I have something to tell you. Gwen had already put down her heart at this time and spoke to Leon. Leon said directly, I'm tired, let's talk about it tomorrow. Quote, saying goodnight to Helen, 
No matter how Gwen gritted her teeth, he went straight upstairs. He knew what Gwen wanted to say to him, but he couldn't grind his teeth with Gwen, and now he couldn't wait to project it again. After returning to the room and closing them, waiting for 10 minutes, and after 12 o'clock, Leon directly summoned the system light curtain and immediately saw the data change on it. Host. Leon. Abilities. 73% Spider-Man abilities. Number of projections. 2. You can project twice a day. Closing parenthesis. Good value. 1225. Kill. 437. Well, today's harvest is really not small, huh? How did the number of projections become 2? Could it be that before there were only good values, so they could only project superhero characters, but now with more kill values, they can project super criminal characters? Quote. The more he thought about it, the more he felt that it was possible, and Leon lifted his spirits and directly thought about it. Projecting the initial state Spider-Man. Drip, projecting Spider-Man's initial state, consumes 15 good points, and the host has 30 seconds to prepare. A moment later, Leon entered the projection space, this time what appeared in front of him was no longer the basketball court, but a reception, surrounded by buildings, the floor was not too high, surrounded by houses, looking a little shabby. Leon looked around the neighborhood and waited silently. Sure enough, ten seconds later, I saw a person walking out of a dark street, still wearing a sweatshirt jacket, the same appearance as Peter Parker, looking slightly green, it was still when Spider-Man Peter Parker had only gained his ability. Now Leon has enough confidence in him, and he doesn't have to take too much into account, and rushes directly without saying a word. Fist to flesh, move fiercely. Compared with the current Leon, Peter Parker in his initial state is simply not enough to see, and he has been beaten back and forth, and even defense is almost impossible. Sure enough, such Peter Parker, I can fight ten alone. Of course, this is a bit of a blow, but it can also explain the gap between the two in terms of combat effectiveness. Very good. Just give me death. Quote, Leon didn't intend to waste time with him, shooting a spider silk, which gradually grew larger in the air, and then opened into a spider web, although Peter Parker projected that although he quickly dodged, Leon's next move had already bombarded his face. Bang. With one punch, Peter Parker had already flown out, fell heavily on the ground, and did not get up for half a day. You must know that the completely blind Spider-Man, but has more than 10 tons of arm strength, even if Leon now only has 73% of Spider-Man's ability, that arm strength is more than 7 tons, against Peter Parker, who just has the ability, the advantage is crushing. He stepped forward, stepped on the neck, and with a click, Peter Parker's body softened. Then his body disappeared and a box fell out. Leon opened the box, and inside were two compartments as before. Drip, congratulations to the host for defeating the initial state Spider-Man, obtaining Spider-Man Ability Fragments 5, Spider-Sensing Enhancement 3. Leon was slightly stunned when he heard this prompt. I know the Spider-Man Ability Fragment, what is this Spider Induction Enhancement? Strengthen your spider senses. Hey, in this way, can the abilities on Spider-Man be dispersed and strengthened? Quote, the next moment, Leon came out of the projection space, and he directly used the Spider-Man ability fragments, five fragments, which immediately caused a surging heat flow on his body, filling the whole body as before. This feeling quickly disappeared, and he took out three more cards, these three cards are spider induction enhancement, and after thinking about it, he slapped one on his body. Buzz. Leon suddenly felt that his brain was confused, and the whole person's spirit was a little shocked, and then he could feel the brain part, which was cool, and this feeling lasted for half a minute before disappearing. He could clearly perceive that his perception and insight into the objects around him had improved significantly. This promotion is good for yourself. Now one thing is for sure that all of Spider-Man's abilities, whether it is muscle strength or spraying spider silk, are not comparable to this spider induction, and this spider induction, it should be said that the sixth sense is amplified, and it is still the sixth sense that can be controlled autonomously, very good. Quote. Leon did not hesitate, directly slapped the other two spider induction enhancement cards on his body, and suddenly the feeling of sensory enhancement appeared again, and only disappeared after a minute. Phew. Leon got up from the bed and just stood on the bed, feeling the surroundings with a smile on his face. He could hear the sound of the subtle wind blowing through the windowsill outside the window, 
and even the sound of mosquitoes flapping their wings downstairs could be heard, even the small sounds within a few kilometers of extreme distance did not escape his hearing. Lying down again, he summoned the system light curtain, and the ability column above had changed. 113% Spider-Man ability, so to speak, now I have indeed surpassed the complete body of Spider-Man, good. Leon's thoughts moved, and he had already selected the next person to project. Projection initial state saber-toothed tiger. Drip, the initial state of the saber-toothed tiger cannot be projected, this unit is a naturally awakened X-gene carrier, and can only project the complete state. Hearing this prompt, Leon was slightly startled, and then rubbed his chin. In this way, all mutants who are normally awakened can only project a complete state. Saber-toothed tiger is a big villain in Marvel but not a supervillain, what I lack the most now is vitality, and Saber-Toothed Tiger and Wolverine just have super self-healing ability, which is extremely against the sky. Quote. In addition, compared to Wolverine, when his claws are retracted, they will bring a lot of pathogenic bacteria to the body, and if they accumulate for a long time, it is also a big burden on the body. Compared to Wolverine's bone spurs, he still likes the claws of Saber-Toothed Tigers. Then, Let's project a saber-toothed tiger in full state. Drip, the projection saber-toothed tiger succeeds, consumes 55 kill points, and the host has 30 seconds to prepare. Quote. When Leon heard this prompt, his eyebrows raised slightly, the consumption of this killing value is not much, and it is within his tolerance. Reaching out and opening the bedside table, he took out a dagger that flashed with cold light, steadied his mind, and a moment later, he entered the projection space as soon as he saw it. The space in front of him this time was different from the place where he had just fought with Peter Parker, this was a wilderness, there was a large forest in the distance, he was next to a ditch that had almost dried up, and the ground under his feet was full of yellowed blades of grass, full of a sense of desolation. Let me look around, and find that this space is at least ten times larger than the street just now, not to mention more than ten square kilometers. It seems that the strength of the projection person's combat effectiveness is also related to the size of the projection space. If the cosmic gods are projected in the future, will the projection space directly become the entire universe? Quote. Leon thought it was possible, but didn't think about it, thinking that he had discovered the existence of saber-toothed tigers. Hundreds of meters away, a man came out of the woods, this man wearing a camel coat and a hat, his whole face was covered under the brim, his hands sticking out from his sleeves were thick bones, and his nails were like the claws of a beast, making people have no doubt about their sharpness. Leon smiled when he saw this, his most lacking ability now is the healing factor on the saber-toothed tiger and wolverine, in fact, Deadpool also has this ability, but he looks ugly, the reason why Leon did not project Deadpool, is afraid of this ability to obtain, accidentally got Deadpool's disfigured face, then it is really funny, after all, he will have to rely on his appearance to eat in the future. The saber-toothed tiger is gradually approaching, the speed is getting faster and faster, from the initial slow to the final run, the distance between the two is gradually narrowing, the distance of hundreds of meters is only a dozen seconds, the next moment, the two are in contact together. The saber-toothed tiger swung a claw towards Leon, this claw also struck towards his head, Leon has spider induction, or spider induction that exceeds the strength of the original Spider-Man's ability, plus amazing reaction ability, slightly sideways has been avoided. Wolverine is a very powerful mutant, among the mutants, it is also second only to Professor X and Magneto, his combat skills are extremely rich, and the moment Leon dodged, his palm swept, and with the force, he grabbed it towards his chest. But Leon's reaction ability is terrifying, one hand has reached out and has already caught that palm, the wind in his ears hits, and the other hand stretches out, and catches the other hand. The two suddenly formed a wrestling situation, and the two sides also began to exert their strength. Leon had a smile on his face, feeling the force coming from the other party, and then gradually exerted strength in his hand. Spider-Man's power, in Marvel superheroes are ranked high, physical strength more than 10 tons, think about what is the concept of 10 tons, a car is only about 2 or 3 tons, Spider-Man can easily lift the car exists. The saber-toothed tiger has amazing resilience, and its physical strength is also very strong, but this strength is only compared to ordinary mutants or ordinary people, and it is really not enough to look at Leon, who has Spider-Man abilities. 
You must know that Spider-Man is in the movie, but the one who unscrewed the iron wall of the Winter Soldier with one hand. Leon's power immediately suppressed the saber-toothed tiger at the level of pure strength, and as soon as his hands were forced, his hands were already unscrewed. Bang! Leon directly smashed a head mallet on the head door of the saber-toothed tiger, and after a muffled sound, as soon as he loosened his hands, the saber-toothed tiger retreated backwards. Sure enough, even if the saber-toothed tiger is strong, against Spider-Man, it can no longer gain any advantage head-on, and the gap between the two is too big. Seeing this, Leon was completely relieved, and no longer kept his hand, and punched the saber-toothed tiger's abdomen with a fist. This punch is extremely fast, and even in this dizzy situation, the saber-toothed tiger has a similar instinctive reaction, wanting to twist and dodge, but the speed of this punch he can't dodge, and was hit hard in the abdomen by Leon's punch. Bang! Gag! More than 10 tons of power, directly concentrated on a punch, how terrifying the destruction played, the saber-toothed tiger flew out directly upside down, blood gushed wildly in the mouth in midair, and the body was almost beaten in half, and after falling to the ground, the body showed a strange angle twisted. But in just a few seconds, the saber-toothed tiger's strangely curved body had recovered, wiped the blood stains on his mouth, stood up casually, and rushed towards Leon again. This product is really meaty. Leon is sighing, it is true, Wolverine and Sabretooth Tiger, in terms of blood alone, are the last few top few Marvel surface heroes and villains, and this recovery ability alone does not know how many people have died. Leon's eyes lit up with joy, and he saw the saber-toothed tiger swing his fist at him again, and without saying a word, he fought back violently again. Leon, who has amazing reflexes, agility and strength that surpass the saber-toothed tiger by a grade, easily knocks the saber-toothed tiger out. This time it was more ruthless than just now, the saber-toothed tiger's head was strangely bent, and its neck was broken, but it only three seconds after landing on the ground stood up again, and without saying a word, it rushed towards Leon again. Come again. As if touching a novel toy, Leon grabbed his fist with one hand, twisted it fiercely, and the saber-toothed tiger's arm was twisted like a twist, relying on the gourd to draw a scoop. Leon directly gave him a full body relaxation, twisted his limbs, and his neck was twisted twice. After letting go, the saber-toothed tiger's body collapsed to the ground like a puddle of mud, but the next scene made Leon's eyes widen. I saw the twisted body of the saber-toothed tiger, gradually stretched out, and within five seconds, the goods jumped up again. So strong, Leon cracked his mouth and smiled, and for the next half hour, he used all kinds of cruel methods on his body without any scruples. Directly piercing the eyeball, gouging out the heart, and even removing half of the bones on the body, in this state, the saber-toothed tiger can still recover, but the speed of recovery also shows speed and slowness with the depth of the injury. The more severe the injury, the slower the recovery, and vice versa. This ability is really a bit against the sky. Leon then cut off one of his arms with a knife, and this time, instead of growing an arm again, he connected the broken arm to the break, and the two quickly healed together. It seems that it is impossible to regenerate with severed limbs, this point is still not comparable to Deadpool, even if that guy only has a head left, he can grow a body again, and his resilience is at the level of undead. Leon felt a pity, but after thinking about it, he felt that it was nothing, after all, although he now has all or even surpassed Spider-Man's abilities, but if he really fights Deadpool, he may not be able to beat, after all, he remembers that the information given by Marvel's official shows that Deadpool is almost beyond Spider-Man in this ability value. Not to mention that Deadpool is a fierce man who has slaughtered the entire Marvel Universe, although it is a very far-fetched plot in the comics, he doesn't want to waste the number of projections now, or wait for the future when he is confident that he can defeat him to obtain his abilities. Leon believes that it will not be long before this wish will be fulfilled. Okay, the test is complete, you can die. Leon twisted the body of the saber-toothed tiger into twists again, and then directly cut off its head with a dagger. Poof, blood sprayed out from the neck of the saber-toothed tiger, and this time, the headless body did not recover again, and the expression on the saber-toothed tiger's face gradually froze. It seems that under such circumstances, the saber-toothed tiger will also die. As he thought, the body of the saber-toothed tiger disappeared, as did the head in his hand, and a box appeared where his body disappeared. Leon stepped forward and opened the box, which had three compartments inside. Drip, 
congratulations to the host for defeating the complete state of the saber-toothed tiger and obtaining the saber-toothed tiger self-healing ability fragment 7, the saber-toothed tiger super endurance fragment 3, and the saber-toothed tiger claw fragment 5. In the three grids lay the ability card quietly, he took it out, and the next three grids disappeared, and there were three more grids next to the character data on his system light curtain. The next moment, he withdrew from the projection space, opened his eyes, and still grabbed the cards in his hand. A saber-toothed tiger can actually burst three abilities, which is very good. Without saying anything, he directly slapped the saber-toothed tiger purple cloud ability fragment on the body, and in an instant there was a heat flow on the body, this time the heat flow was different from before, it was with a dry breath, the heart seemed to be stimulated, began to beat violently, and the blood flow rate also accelerated rapidly. This feeling lasted for three minutes, and after the feeling disappeared, Leon took a second shot on his body, followed by chapters three and four. In almost half an hour, he digested the self-healing ability, and instead slapped the endurance fragments on his body, and the three pieces were digested at the same time, and the changes in his body only lasted for half a minute, and then it stabilized. Unlike Wolverine's bone spurs, the claws of the saber-toothed tiger strengthen the hardness of the nails, make them change their form into claws, and can recover when not in use, which is still very good in terms of progress. Leon naturally had no reason to refuse, and directly slapped the five cards on his body, and he noticed the tingling sensation coming from his fingertips, which disappeared after a moment. He knew that he now had the ability of a saber-toothed tiger, and as soon as his mind moved, the nails of the ten fingers changed rapidly, and each nail grew by about three centimeters, becoming extremely sharp, like wolf teeth. With this ability, in the future, melee combat can directly stab the enemy with your hand. As soon as Leon's heart moved, the claws recovered as before, nodded very satisfied, and then he clenched his fists, took the dagger and rolled over and went to the bathroom, standing next to the washbasin, using the dagger to directly cut the palm of the hand, frowning slightly to endure the pain, the flesh he cut was deep in the bone, the blood and water were immediately left, and the washbasin was dyed red in a blink of an eye. Spreading out his palm, he saw that the wound in his palm was gradually healing, this speed was not comparable to the saber-toothed tiger, at least two or three times slower than it, and the wound was still bleeding during the healing period, he did not care, and watched closely. After more than ten seconds, the huge wound in the palm of his hand completely healed, and he saw an intact palm with water to wash away the blood, and there was no scar at all. With such a recovery speed, I don't have to be afraid of ordinary battles, even if I am injured by a gunshot, as long as it is not a shot in the brain, I don't have to be afraid. He summons the system light curtain and looks at the changes in your own data above you. Host, Leon, Abilities, 113% Spider-Man Ability, 37% Saber-Toothed Tiger Ability. Number of Projections, 0. You can project twice a day. Closing parenthesis. Good value, 1210. Kill, 382. 37% of the ability of the saber-toothed tiger is almost one-third of the strength of the saber-toothed tiger, that is, a weakened version of the saber-toothed tiger, which is not bad. Leon is very satisfied with this, even the ability of the weakened version is very against the sky at this stage, just in terms of self-healing, it is a big profit. He smiled at the mirror, his face was satisfied, and he heard the conversation in George and Helen's room downstairs, and George had just come back and was talking to Helen about the two Spider-Man. Leon grinned, wondering what they would look like when they knew they were Spider-Man too. He was too lazy to think about it, went back to the room and went straight to sleep. One night without words, the next day as usual, and Gwen went to school together, he naturally met Peter Parker at school, this guy doesn't know how he slipped away last night, and now he is still in a bit of a trance, and seems to be thinking about who that Spider-Man really is. Leon ignored him, Gwen hadn't spoken to him since the morning, and even avoided him during lunch. This girl, where did the nameless fire come from? Leon was a little confused, and then threw the matter aside. When school ended in the afternoon, Peter Parker found him and asked directly, Gwen is not in a high mood today, do you know what the reason is? Quote, well, shouldn't this be your boyfriend's concern? I don't know. Quote. Can he say it's because of him? Well, I heard from Gwen that Mr. George invited me to your house today, what should I prepare? Peter Parker asked again. Leon rolled his eyes, 
he really wanted to tell this idiot, can you be more conscious? Just keep the focus, he said. Indeed, Mr. George is the police chief of the city, and he should be the kind of old-fashioned person, I think I should consult my uncle. Leon couldn't help but shake his head, and then patted him on the shoulder. Good luck, this silly boy is really powerless to complain. Gwen did not go back with Peter today, but was waiting for him, Leon saw Gwen standing in the car, raised his eyebrows, and said, My dear sister, I have been ignoring me for a day, and now you finally plan to reconcile with me. Quote. Gwen ignored him, got into the car with an expressionless face, and waited for the car to travel some distance before saying, Don't you have anything you want to say to me? Quote. Say what? Leon asked knowingly. For example, tell me, why are you also Spider-Man? Gwen Dao. You're delusional, Leon said with certainty. No, I've known you for more than 15 years, I know you, you can't fool me. Well, my dear sister, even if I'm another Spider-Man, what's the use of knowing the news? Will you tell someone who I am? Leon raised an eyebrow at her. You definitely did it on purpose, you know that as a family member I can't tell others this kind of thing. Gwen was angry. That's it, in the end, it's my sister, my brother didn't hurt you in vain, I remember when you were six years old and you broke and retreated, but I took care of you for half a year, we are the best brothers and sisters, aren't we? So don't take this little thing seriously. Leon said naturally. You guy, I will never forgive you. Really, so what about this? Quote. Leon said that as soon as his wrist turned over, palm down, a crystal clear pendant appeared in front of Gwen's eyes. What? When Gwen saw it, he immediately covered his small mouth. Oh my god, Princess Tiffany pendant. Yes, are you going to reconcile with me? If you reconcile, this thing is yours. Quote. Gwen looked at the pendant, her eyes lit up, and her eyes revealed a kind of love, this kind of love for jewelry, which no woman can put an end to. You, you don't want to use this method to make me comply. Gwen said with a hard mouth. Is it? That's a pity, it seems that you don't like it, just right, I should also consider whether to have a girlfriend, you said I will give this carving to a beautiful girl, will the other party agree? Leon said with a smile on his face. You stallion, who was the last girl to break up with you? It's been less than two weeks since your relationship ended, are you going to start a new relationship? Gwen gritted her teeth. I'm already an adult, aren't I? Give me something. Ha ha, well, here you go. Leon stopped teasing Gwen, put the pendant on her hand, and said at the same time, you have to keep this matter secret for me, you know, this world is not as simple as we think, look around, you don't know who is mutants, let alone who among these people is dangerous. Another point is that mainstream society is full of discrimination against mutants, and I don't want to be famous so early. Quote. Gwen looked at the pendant in her hand, and could see that she liked it, and nodded when she heard this, I will, I will take this as your gift for my internship. Quote. Oh yes, what company are you interning in? Ocladine, I interned in their biology department, it was a great opportunity. Wait, Ashi Group, is their boss named Norman Osborne? Leon asked with a frown. Yes, he's a celebrity. I advise you not to go. Leon said seriously. Please, I won't give up such a good opportunity in front of me, besides, I've been working there for more than a month, don't you know it all? Gwen looked at him, does that mean you don't care about my sister's life at all? Ah, Leon had nothing to say, he could say that he was indifferent to many things. Well, I still have reservations, it may not be for you there. No, it's a very good opportunity, I don't want to miss it. Leon pretended to be nonchalant and asked again, what does the biology department where you intern do? And who are the leaders? Quote. I interned in the biology department, which has existed in the Ocladine group for more than 10 years, engaged in genetic optimization and breeding engineering of different species in the biological field, belongs to the pharmaceutical department, and leads our team by Dr. Curtis Connors, a very knowledgeable person, if his project can be successful, then humans will no longer have to worry about limb diseases, even people with amputated limbs, they can fully recover. Talking about her internship, Gwen suddenly seemed very excited and began to talk to Leon endlessly. And Leon drove while listening quietly, without making a statement, and at the same time thinking in his heart, it seems that he can't escape the inertia of the plot after all, and the danger that Gwen will encounter in the future may not be avoided. 
Gee, it looks like I can't keep a low profile in the future. Leon naturally does not sit idly by and ignores Gwen's danger, and he also knows what kind of price he will pay if he wants to protect this family, which is nothing more than the problem of identity exposure. Listen to Gwen, from now on, wherever you are, as long as you are in danger, or something you are not in order, remember to call me. Why, do as I say, you know I'm Spider-Man, and I have a relatively special ability to see what bad things may happen to you in the future, remember my words, it's not a joke. Leon said seriously. Really, will you protect me then? Quote, Gwen didn't look worried at all when she heard this, but a little excited, a girl her age has never lacked curiosity and adventurous spirit. Of course, I am your brother, and I have a responsibility to protect you, and that will never change. Well, I forgive you. Leon rolled her eyes, the two chatted and returned home, and at home, George had not yet returned, apparently still working on last night's case, Helen had returned early and had begun to prepare for tonight's dinner. Peter Parker is back tonight, so dinner will be sumptuous. Dear Mama Helen, is there anything you need my help with? Leon stepped forward and kissed Helen's cheek, an intimate gesture common in families. No, I haven't cooked a meal properly for a long time, I enjoy the process, you can do something else, like spend more time with Gwen. Okay, I will. In the evening, George finally returned, although he looked a little tired, but he was in good spirits, and the family waited for the family party to begin. At six o'clock, Peter Parker rang the doorbell, Leon opened the door, and saw Peter Parker standing at the door in a formal suit, holding a bouquet of flowers in his hand, looking a little nervous. Leon nodded secretly, this guy did not visit Stacy's house for the first time like in the movie, and he dressed very casually. Nice to meet you, Mr. George Stacy, and Miss Helen. Hello, Parker, can I call you that? George nodded and smiled, his first impression of the young man did not seem to be bad. Of course, please come in. Helen ushered Peter Parker in, and after some pleasantries, she sat down, Leon pretended not to see the eye contact between Gwen and Peter, and rolled her eyes, these two guys didn't care about other people's feelings at all, dog food spilled all over the floor. After eating a meal for almost an hour, the most talked about on the table was about Peter Parker, although it was not like checking the household registration like Washaw's parents, but it was still necessary to ask. After the meal, George said, since you are classmates of the same grade, there should be a lot of common topics, we won't talk to you more, Leon, you can get along more, go outside to play. Quote, okay George, Leon, as the eldest brother, could only take Peter to the second floor balcony, and Gwen followed, she was still relatively happy, at least her parents did not show dislike for Peter. It's just that she saw Leon and Peter standing together at the moment, her face was a little strange, he knew Peter's identity, and he also knew Leon's identity, only Peter was still kept in the dark among the three people present. The most helpless is Leon, who has to chat awkwardly with Peter Parker at this time, and he is very uncomfortable. After barely chatting for more than ten minutes, Leon couldn't stand it anymore, and when he was about to leave, he heard a muffled noise from far away. It was an explosion, but because of the distance, it was already very slight when it came here, and Leon subconsciously turned his head, and when he looked far away, he saw a faint fire in the direction of Manhattan Bridge. The next moment, Peter Parker also turned his head, he also heard the explosion, and his face became serious. What's wrong? Gwen was a little confused. Leon glanced at Peter Parker, touched his nose and did not speak, but in his heart he thought that he could earn good value and kill value again, but unfortunately Peter Parker was present, and it was a little difficult to move. It's a pleasure to be a guest here today, Gwen, Rayon, I suddenly remembered that I was still a little anxious, I left first. As we all know, Peter Parker was a commotion with a sense of justice in his heart, and the explosion told him that something must be wrong on the other side of the Manhattan Bridge. No, are you hiding something from me? Gwen asked. Peter Parker subconsciously glanced at Leon, although it was very hidden, but it was still detected by Leon, and he seemed to inadvertently ask, do you need me to drive you? Quote, no, thanks, Peter Parker said and stepped forward to hug Gwen and whispered in his ear, there is a problem over there on the Manhattan Bridge, there was an explosion just now, I need to go and see. Quote, will it be dangerous? I don't know, but I need to go and see. Okay, you be careful, I'll let Leon send you. No, there may be danger over there. 
Gwen glanced at Leon, who shrugged. Peter thought his voice was small, but in fact he heard both conversations. He's much stronger than you think, and if it's you alone, I'm not at ease. Gwen said while casting a look at Leon. Okay. Peter Parker agreed very unrestrainedly. Leon stood aside and was stuffed with a mouthful of dog food, which didn't feel good. Let's go. The two immediately left. Leon drove Peter Parker towards the direction of Manhattan Bridge. The two did not talk much on the way. The atmosphere was a little awkward, and when they arrived at the place, Peter Parker thanked him and ran directly out of the car. Leon looked at his back and touched his nose, and then parked the car in a dark place, and when he came out, he had already changed into a Spider-Man suit. There were many people on the bridge who were screaming in horror and running towards both ends, and Leon swung to the top of the bridge with spider silk, and he saw Peter Parker using spider silk to fix the falling cars to the bridge. In the distance, a dark green monster is wreaking havoc on the cars on the bridge, looking quite violent. Well, this power is not small. I'm afraid it also has a level of about 10 tons, right? Leon immediately recognized the monster, it was what Gwen called Dr. Curtis Connors, nicknamed the Lizard Monster. It's really the plot of the extraordinary Spider-Man. Chapter 11 He has always wondered before, obviously he was reborn in the Marvel Universe, but why he has never been exposed to a similar plot before, and now he also understands that the universe he was reborn in is unfolded in the extraordinary Spider-Man movie. All this in front of you is the plot in the first part of The Amazing Spider-Man. Since it is the Marvel Universe, it must be a complete world, a real world, even if it causes a butterfly effect due to its own intervention, but I think something should happen, it will still happen. Leon smiled inexplicably. Anyway, in terms of self, isn't the world real because of its own existence? No matter what plot he does not plot, the most important thing is to live freely. Quote, he doesn't have the same ideas as some fanfiction protagonists, and he stupidly waits for some plots to happen to fish in troubled waters, he doesn't have to, because he has a system, and it is a basic operation to be stronger than a day. While he was thinking, the lizard monster on the Manhattan Bridge in front had already contacted Peter Parker, and the two attacked each other from the first time they met. The lizard monster is not weaker than Spider-Man in terms of strength, and even faintly overwhelms its line and can overturn a car with one hand and throw it out easily, but in terms of agility, it is obvious that Spider-Man has the advantage. In the face of such an opponent, Peter Parker is also preoccupied with careful response, because if he is not careful, he is likely to be greeted by death. Leon looked at it condescendingly, and there was a pleasant feeling that the mountains were related to the fight. Boom! With a bang, two cars were lifted up, one left and one right falling under the bridge, and the people in the car were screaming, extremely frightened. Peter Parker ejected two spider silks with both hands, sticking the two cars and using his own strength to stop the two cars from falling, but he could not let go at this time, if he let go, the two cars were likely to be unable to pull up. Just when he was in a dilemma, the lizard monster rushed towards him quickly, and with a wave of his claws, he was already in front of him, and he could not avoid it. G. Leon Fang, a ray of spider silk had hit him in the eye before the lizard monster swung its claws. Whoosh. The speed of spider silk is not slow, even if the lizard monster is no matter how strong, it is directly hit on the eyeball, it is also a sharp pain, he subconsciously stepped back and looked up, and saw another Spider-Man standing on the bridge pillar above. Hey gentlemen, am I bothering you? He said, Fack, come and help me. Peter Parker had contact with him yesterday, and he knew him a little, and his current situation is very embarrassing, and he has to save people and face enemies, which is a big test for him. No problem. Leon shot out two strands of spider silk, intertwined with Peter Parker's two spider silks, and then he directly circled the bridge pillar and tied a knot. It's done. Below, Peter Parker rushed out again, grappling with the lizard monster. Leon observed for a moment, Peter Parker's fighting experience is still much more than that of lizard monsters, compared to the random attacks of lizard monsters, he returned to fighting in a good way, and no one could help anyone in a short time. Leave him alone, get those people up first, it's all good value. He thought of it, and he spent a few minutes to rescue those who were suspended in the half-empty car under the bridge, thinking that it was another good income. The fight between the two still failed to distinguish the winner and defeat, and it was still in the stalemate stage. The power of this thing is not small, and it can be used to practice hands. Thinking so, 
he directly joined the battle group. With Leon's shot, Peter Parker's pressure was immediately relieved a lot, and Leon said, you go and help ordinary people, I see that some places in front are still very chaotic, and this place is handed over to me. Quote, no, he's dangerous, I know, but now that he's my prey, please don't bother me, okay. Fact, Peter Parker knew Leon's temperament, and did not bother to argue with him more, the front was indeed very chaotic, and he could only withdraw from the battle group and run over. The lizard monster just saw that there were actually two Spider-Man, and he was a little confused for a while, and he was suppressed by the two of them, just when he was full of anger, when Peter Parker left, he immediately felt a lot less pressure, and directly swung a grab towards Leon. Hey, do you think you have claws? Leon's speed can naturally easily avoid this claw, he turned sideways, rolled on the ground, and when he got up, he was already standing on the side of the lizard monster, and when his mind moved, there was a tingling sensation on the fingertips of his ten fingers and then his nails pierced the Spider-Man suit and revealed. With his hands together like a knife, he slammed into the lizard monster's side waist. Poof! A muffled sound into the flesh. Whoosh! A miserable howl. Leon actually inserted his hands into the lizard monster's body, and when he pulled it out, he was immediately bloody, opening two blood holes in the lizard monster's body. Leon's bloody hands were draining, and the lizard monster's wounds and blood holes left by his hands were gushing blood. He wanted to observe a little longer, but the lizard monster's attack was already in front of him. Whoosh! The lizard monster's claws slashed through the air, and Leon raised his head slightly, then turned sideways, easily dodging the blow. It's too slow, the strength is not weak, but your strength is not concentrated, and the power is also a problem, especially the speed, the agility is not enough, and you are only being beaten now. The attacks came one after another, and Leon either turned his head or sideways, dissolving the lizard monster's attacks one by one, but his mouth kept talking. I'm not the guy the first just fought with you, he has an inexplicable kindness, this kindness is perfect and beautiful in nature, but I don't have the personality and mind like him, for me, any enemy who stands in my way can be directly killed. Phew, the lizard monster suddenly took advantage of a gap and slammed a punch down, just when Leon dodged his grab, and Leon could no longer dodge. Hey, that's smart, the next moment, bang, with a heavy muffled sound, the lizard monster's huge fist smashed directly on Leon's forearm, and he saw Leon raise an arm and directly resist the thunderous blow, and the consequence was that the ground under his feet cracked, and the arm was broken. Have you figured out how you're going to die? Leon smiled at him, but unfortunately there was a mask covering his face, and the lizard monster could not see it. At this time, the two blood holes on the lizard monster's body have stopped bleeding, and even only a trace of healing remains, and Leon's broken forearm is also healing rapidly, which is three times slower than the saber-toothed tiger, but compared with this lizard monster, it is up and down. Leon suddenly kicked out a kick at the other party, this kick condensed the strength of his whole body, and the kick was quickly and fiercely, kicking on the stomach of the lizard monster, and the latter suddenly flew out upside down like a cannonball, smashing a car directly. This guy's weight is less than 700 kilograms, and his strength is more than 10 tons, even a little stronger than his current strength, and it is estimated that he has at least 13 tons of arm strength, which is amazing. It is said that the rich rely on technology, the poor rely on mutation, and researchers such as lizard monsters can use drugs to mutate themselves to this extent, which is enough to show that they are powerful. However, such a mutation must have drawbacks, and Leon has no concerns in this regard, he can directly obtain the ability from other people's projections, the ability obtained by this method is convenient and fast, and there is no worries. Leon's arm had recovered as before, and the pain was nothing to him, and it had disappeared in the blink of an eye. At this time, the lizard monster has also climbed up, and there is a depression in its abdomen, which is recovering rapidly. Whoosh! He roared. Shred you, little bug. The sound was like the roar of a wild beast. Hey! Hey! Leon rushed directly towards him, fully playing to his advantages, he was faster and stronger than Peter Parker now, plus his pair of sharp claws, not to kill this lizard monster, but he can definitely crush. At this time, the situation is that Leon's body quickly dodged around the lizard monster, while dodging the attack from the lizard monster, and on the other hand, he pumped the cold to the lizard monster once or twice, he could tear a large piece of his flesh and skin without a single catch, making it bleed, but the lizard monster was helpless against him. 
In just two minutes, the ground was already stained red with a large amount of blood, and the lizard monster's body was even more bruised, and in some places the wound was deep in the bone, and even the organs inside could be seen. Roar! The lizard monster roared angrily, hating to tear the annoying little bug in front of him to pieces, but with his speed, there was no way to take Leon at all, and at this time he completely fell into the downwind and fell into a desperate situation. Leon will not keep his hand, through these several projections, he knows very well that the more powerful the character, the more values need to be consumed to projection, and the monster in front of him is naturally a source of numerical acquisition, to put it bluntly, it is his experience bar, and there is no reason to let go at all. Poof, poof, Leon rolled over and landed on the lizard's back, his hands stabbed into the neck, almost penetrating the lizard's neck, and at this moment his hands that penetrated into its flesh and blood violently opened into claws and tore to the sides. A crack-like sound sounded, a large piece of flesh and blood was lifted, blood gushed like a spring, the lizard monster's nerves were destroyed, and the huge body directly convulsed and fell. Leon stepped on his head condescendingly, tilted his head and said, make a final goodbye to this world, big lizard. Quote. No, the lizard monster was terrified at this time, but the next moment, one of Leon's hands directly pierced into one of his eye frames. Poof. The lizard monster's body began to tremble violently, his body twitched, Leon's hand directly pierced his brain, and his brain was destroyed in one fell swoop, such an injury, even if he has super recovery ability, it is impossible to recover in a short time. However, Leon believes that he will not be able to recover from such an injury. Leon held a claw in his other hand and violently tore a large piece of flesh and blood from his neck, and then it took 10 seconds like this to tear off all the flesh on his neck. Click. With a hard twist, the lizard's head had been ripped off by him. This scene is so bloody that if anyone is around, you will feel your scalp numb at a glance. Throwing his head at the lizard monster, Leon flicked the blood stain on his hand and recovered it. At this time, Peter Parker swung over from a distance, and then saw the huge body of the lizard monster, and at this time, the lizard monster's body was gradually shrinking, and the lizard monster at this time was completely dead, and there was no possibility of recovery. I have to say that Leon's shot is really fierce, at least Peter Parker's body trembled after seeing this scene. My god, what have you done? Why kill him? Peter Parker held his head in his hands, which was hard for him to accept. Leon shrugged and said, you know, this guy has no reason at all, if you don't kill him, are you waiting to be killed by him? Quote. Another thing he didn't say, if according to the original plot, George Stasi will eventually die at the hands of this guy, he will not let this happen, all dangers must be strangled in the cradle. Even so, you are perfectly capable of stopping him, you can defeat him and then hand him over to the police and take someone's life at will, which is illegal. Peter Parker yelled at Leon. And then, Leon didn't care at all, glanced at the distance, there was already a siren over there, he said directly, instead of arguing with me here, it's better to think about how you should deal with the police, oh yes, I'm also Spider-Man now, so to speak, Spider-Man killed people. Quote. His look of hindsight made Peter Parker more and more irritable. Who the hell are you fool? You are now killing people with my identity, and you need to stand up and explain to the people. Quote. Leon laughed and said, I don't care, only people like you will value reputation so much, too, when people learn that Spider-Man kills, they will definitely spit on the identity of Spider-Man, gee, what to do? Quote. Fact. Peter Parker couldn't stand his sneering like this, and then threw a fist directly at him, thinking that he was also forced by Leon's temperament. Leon dodged the punch sideways, and by the way, he grabbed his wrist and threw it to the side with a force. Hi man, don't worry, since I'm wearing the coat of Spider-Man now, then I will naturally maintain the name. Saying that, he came to the body of Dr. Curtis Connors, who had completely recovered from the appearance of the lizard man at this time, but unfortunately the head and body were separated, and the dead could not die again. Leon stretched out his hand to wipe his body and skull, and his body had disappeared in front of him. Look, isn't this perfectly solved, if someone asks later, just say that the thing ran away, anyway, there are no witnesses, how perfect is all this? Leon has no psychological burden at all, this is nothing to him, the enemy in front of him, there is no need to keep it, especially this kind of mutated appearance, rational guy, killing is even less psychological burden. 
You. Although Peter Parker was surprised where he got Dr. Curtis Connor's body, it was Leon's attitude that made him unacceptable, but before he could say anything, he was interrupted by Leon. Man, you have to be mature, I know that it didn't take you too long to gain special abilities, so you didn't experience much, and when you face life and death decisions in the future, you will find that today's thoughts are very naive. Leon glanced at the police car approaching in the distance, waved at him and said, you can inform the police according to what I just said, or you can confess, anyway, the choice is yours, and from today onwards, I will no longer appear in the form of Spider-Man, so you don't have to worry that I will use your identity to do bad things, okay man, let's see you next time. Quote. Leon didn't have time to say anything more to him, the purpose of coming over today has been achieved, and he naturally doesn't want to get involved in the rest of the matter, as for Dr. Curtis Connors's body, it was naturally collected by him into the system grid, after these days of groping, he also knows the storage size of the system grid, a grid can store an object and the size is related to his own ability. Take his current ability, a grid can store up to a car-sized thing, and if the ability increases, the storage size of the system grid can be increased in the future. He jumped off the bridge with a run, shot a spider silk on the bridge, and then quickly swung into the distance. Peter Parker kicked the guardrail next to him fiercely, and suddenly kicked the metal guardrail with a bang. He was very angry, but helpless to Leon, he didn't even know Leon's true identity, at this time he could only suppress the anger in his heart, and he didn't want to expose himself, so he could only acquiesce to what Leon said just now, and then left. On the other side, Leon has driven away at this time, he now has other ideas, as the number of projections increases, his ability will become more and more powerful, and naturally there is no need to use Spider-Man's identity to cover people's eyes and ears in the future, at this time he has the intention to create a unique identity of his own. Do you want to be a superhero or a supercriminal? Both can enhance my ability, so hard to choose. Quote. He thought while driving, but after a long while, he suddenly smiled and shook his head. I am trapped in a dead end of thinking, why do I have to limit myself to the two identities of good and evil? Children only do multiple choice questions, adults, should be all of them, but there are many anti-heroes in the Marvel world, this is not right, in the future I don't have to be limited to good and evil, good is worth evil I want. Quote. Leon immediately had a plan and decided to go back and project new Marvel characters. It just so happens that I still lack a suit with my own unique identity, and as a suit, the alien symbiote is undoubtedly the best choice, Venom, Serum, Massacre, Riot, Howl, Whip, Devouring and Extreme, which of these symbiotes should I choose? Leon thought as he drove, and then suddenly smiled. If you want to project, it is best to project the Venom in the original state, this is not a good choice, the alien symbiote will mutate because of the good and evil of the host, the good will become a hero, the wicked will naturally become the villain, with my nature, it is likely to give birth to a good and evil existence, and the alien symbiote has its own mind and will, only let it completely surrender, otherwise there may be chaos. Maybe you can try it when you go back. He had this idea, so he decided to get ready, at this time it was only 8 or 9 o'clock at night, the time was naturally early, he drove to a shopping mall, entered it to make a big purchase, and then saved the purchased things in the system grid. When he walked out of the mall and came to the parking lot, he paused slightly, turned his head to look at the back of the car. How long are you going to hide there? When his words fell, a man walked out of the back of the car, dressed in a suit and bulging at his waist, apparently pinned to a gun. This man was not tall, half a head shorter than Leon, and he looked very strong, with the face of an ordinary white man, and blonde hair, which was striking that the hairline was somewhat backward. Leon Stacy, born 18 years ago at St. Mary's Hospital in East Side. New York, whose parents died in a fire 14 years ago, was adopted by a family, adoptive father George Stacy, adoptive mother Helen Stacy, sister Gwen Stacy, am I right? Who are you? Leon frowned slightly. It doesn't matter who I am, what matters is, what are your plans with Peter Parker? Or is it ready to do something to this society? That's humane. Leon smiled when he heard this, looked around and said to the man, this is not the place to chat, why don't we go to the bar over there to talk? Quote. Yes. The man loosened his shoulders and walked towards the bar first, Leon followed, the two entered the bar, ordered a glass of wine and sat down, and then Leon spoke, 
You are so clear about my identity information, I think you should be from the intelligence agency, but you are mistaken, Peter Parker and I are not together, or rather, I am just borrowing his identity as Spider-Man. Quote, for the identity of the person in front of him, Leon has already had some guesses, can find out his heels so simply, there must be a huge force or organization behind him, and for people with superpowers, the person who can contact it is nothing more than S.H.I.E.L.D. in the United States, so that the name of the person in front of him is about to come out. So what's your plan? Ready to be a New York superhero? Or are you ready to act recklessly with special abilities? Quote. Leon took a sip of wine, then shook his head and said, of course not, I have no interest in becoming a superhero, I don't have any ideas about evil, I just want to make my life easier and protect some things and people I care about. Quote. The man nodded and said, I know very well the difference between you and Peter Parker, he has a kind quality that is difficult for ordinary people to have, and you are more like a 19th century cowboy, the law does not have much binding force on you, but will do something out of the ordinary because of your ability. Quote. For example, Leon raised an eyebrow and asked, those robbers you killed last time. Oh, they're just cheated, do you still want to complain about them? Of course not, at present, you haven't crossed some bottom lines, so I came to contact you, otherwise, someone else will come to arrest you. Leon just smiled and suddenly asked, then why don't you guys contact Peter Parker? Quote, he's controllable, and you, I'm not sure. Quote, well, let's end these trivial topics and talk about it, what is the purpose of you coming to me? Leon picked up. It's very simple, I want to ask you to settle down and don't do things that break the law, if you want to uphold justice like Peter Parker, yes, that's fine, the country also needs people like you to stand up, but what you do must also be kept within a certain framework. Leon smiled and said, yes, I will not take the initiative to do anything that violates the law, and I will also uphold social justice within the scope of my ability, but anyone I think is guilty, I will directly kill, can you bear this? Quote. It doesn't matter. The man shrugged his shoulders, raised his cup and said, I'm glad you're a communicative person, which saves us a lot of things, and if you can, I'd like to invite you to join us. Quote. You, Leon asked. Yes, I come from a special organization. SHIELD, a special organization that specializes in dealing with crimes committed by people like you. Leon shook his head and said, I'm sorry, I'm not interested in this, all I want is a free life. Quote. Well, I don't have much hope for this myself, you can feel our kindness, then, I won't bother you, this is my contact information. Saying that, he gave Leon a business card with only a name and phone number on it. Phil Coulson. Leon smiled slightly and soon disappeared again, he had already guessed that the other party was Agent Coulson, one of the right and left arms of the shield. I have received your kindness, and I hope that you will not disturb my normal life, especially not in front of my family. Of course, Phil Coulson nodded, and then added, where is Dr. Curtis Connors? Quote, who, Leon asked pretending not to know. It's the lizard man you met on the Manhattan Bridge. Oh, he was killed by me, and the body was thrown into the sea by me. Leon didn't care. Phil Coulson nodded, and then got up directly and said, okay, then this matter is over, I'll go first. Quote. He said and left directly, while Leon looked at his back and thought slightly, but he heard a humane, sir, the wine money of that gentleman just now is $25. Quote. Fack. Leon sighed, and the man behind his hairline actually punished him with a glass of wine. He drank the wine in the cup in one gulp, took a picture of 100 yuan and left directly. Sure enough, it was discovered by S.H.I.E.L.D., too, if someone wants to investigate, they can still find out some clues, not to mention a secret organization like S.H.I.E.L.D., who knows what kind of power they secretly hold. But it doesn't matter, Leon doesn't care much about this, now his ability is not strong, in the Marvel world is not a top-notch existence, but it is definitely not everyone's existence, and his growth space is extremely huge, the longer the time, the more confident he is. Without making any more stops, he drove straight home. After returning home, he found that George was not at home, thinking that he should have dealt with the matter on the Manhattan Bridge just now, he didn't care, and when he saw Gwen's look of wanting to talk and stop, he smiled at him, and Gwen was immediately relieved. By this time, there was already a report on the Manhattan Bridge on the news, and he was watching TV with Helen and Gwen. 
There is no need to repeat this. George thought that he would definitely have to work overtime in the evening, so he washed up and then lay on the bed, quietly waiting for 12 o'clock. Soon 12 o'clock had arrived, and Leon said, Project the initial state venom. Quote, if it was only the initial state of venom, he was confident that he would be able to cope with it with his current ability. Unfortunately, the feedback given by the system made him frown. Venom is a symbiote life that can only project the state of having a host. Leon's brows frowned slightly, there are many hosts of Venom, such as Spider-Man, Edward Bullock, and Agent Venom, and the number of hosts is as many as five or six. He pondered for a long time before saying, Projection Venom host Edward Bullock period. Quote, Drip, the state of the Venom host Edward Bullock, the consumption of kill value is 130 points, and the host has 30 seconds to prepare. Leon waited quietly, and 30 seconds later, he entered the projection space. He was in a street surrounded by buildings, except for the buildings, there was only dead silence, no half a figure, and he didn't know where Venom would appear. He waited quietly, and after a moment suddenly looked up into the distance, and saw a pitch black figure appear on the roof of a tall building. That figure was extremely strong and tall, and even if he crouched there, it gave people a sense of oppression. He has swollen muscles, as if cast in steel, dark as ink, and in some places even squirms like liquid, his face has a pair of eyes that occupy half of his face, that eye is a flat, a pure white, like a Spider-Man hood, the eyes are obliquely upward, plus a large split mouth, sense and fangs, full of a palpitating anger. Bang! Venom jumped sharply, and the ground under his feet was cracked, and his body fell towards Leon like a cannonball, and suddenly stretched out his hand in midair, and his entire arm extended rapidly, sticking to a building on the side, and his body fell slightly, and then fell towards Leon's side. Before his body fell, his other hand had already begun to deform, rapidly extending and stretching, and in a blink of an eye, it transformed into a giant blade more than two meters long, slashing towards Leon with a cold glow. Boom, that's awesome, Leon didn't hold it up, and with full attention, with his agile reflexes, he dodged the blade before it fell. Boom, with a muffled sound, the ground shook, and then centered on the venom drop point, a puff of smoke and dust rose up, and the ground cracked around. Leon stepped back, and at this moment, a black silk thread shot out from the smoke, winding towards him. He hurried down, the black silk similar to his spider silk, and flew past his cheek. Venom has similar abilities to Spider-Man, great strength, amazing speed, extraordinary endurance, and similar sensing ability to Spider-Sensing, which is completely an enlarged version of Spider-Man, and also has weird deformation ability, which is simply not too difficult. Phew, a strong wind came, and Leon didn't have to turn his head to feel a sharp slash towards his cheek, but he didn't know when Venom had jumped in front of him, and one hand turned into a blade, slashing down at him. Leon rolled on the spot and gave way to the blow, and at the same time his hands became claws, and the moment he staggered with it, his hands had already torn a piece of his abdomen. Roar, Venom roared in pain, and then struck at Leon. It's so difficult, Leon sighed in his heart, this was definitely the most difficult enemy he had encountered so far, much more difficult than the saber-toothed tiger. He had already glimpsed the wound in Venom's abdomen, which had disappeared in the blink of an eye, and this recovery speed was more exaggerated than that of Sabretooth and Wolverine. Leon dodged the blow of Venom, suddenly tightened his heart, subconsciously protected his chest with his hands, and then felt a distance hit, and the whole person flew out upside down and smashed into the glass vitrine in the distance. He got up from the shattered window, saw Venom rushing towards him, and quickly dodged, avoiding the opponent's blow. The strength is similar to his own, but also about 11 tons of strength, if he is agile, he is still a little faster, and he is much stronger than himself in terms of injury recovery, and his transformation ability is not even more so, it seems that he can only outwit. Leon had the foresight and prepared early, and as soon as his hand raised a spider silk to shoot, the person also quickly swung towards the distance, and the venom naturally would not give up, climbing on the wall and chasing it. This chase and escape soon came to the top of a building, where Leon waited for Venom to appear, and a megaphone appeared in his hand. Bang! Venom landed on the ground, roared and rushed towards Leon. And Leon turned on the horn unhurriedly, and suddenly there was a sharp and piercing sound of electricity, the frequency was very high, the moment the Venom was emitted, the whole body had begun to tremble, 
the black on the surface of the body was like a liquid vibrating, and there was a burst of roars in the mouth, but it was still approaching Leon little by little. Isn't the volume enough? Leon thought so, and directly increased the volume to the maximum. Ah! A sharp roar came from Venom's mouth, his mouth full of sharp teeth wide open, revealing a man's face, which should be Edward Bullock, the man known as Eddie, his face was distorted and painful. One more. Another megaphone appeared in Leon's hand, and after opening it, a sharp and piercing sound came out. The surface of Venom's body began to shake like boiling water, faintly seemed to be about to get rid of Eddie, and the two looked extremely painful. The characteristics of symbiotes are many, but the weaknesses are very obvious, and the fear of fire and sound, especially sharp sounds, is a very painful injury for them. Fortunately, the venom when he coexisted with Eddie was not highly resistant to fire and sound, otherwise this thing alone would not have made him lose his combat effectiveness. Looking at the venom that was rolling in pain on the ground, Leon let go of his heart, and at this time he actually had the leisure to observe. The venom was churning and rolling on the roof, and a large black solution appeared on the body, which seemed to have life, surging around, seemingly to escape the range of the sound. How can you escape like this? Leon put down a megaphone at his feet, and then he had another one in his hand, turned it on directly, and then put another one on the side, and just like that, he took out a total of four megaphones, one in each of the four directions around the venom. There were noisy and sharp sounds in the four megaphones, and the stimulating venom howled repeatedly, which seemed extremely painful, and Eddie's face exposed from it was also a distorted color. The process lasted for five minutes, by which time the venom had completely liquefied and detached from Eddie, who had already passed out. Leon smiled when he saw this, flipped his hand, and took out another thing from the system compartment. It was a barrel of oil, 35 liters long, unscrewed the lid, he directly poured gasoline on Venom's body, circled, poured all the gasoline in the barrel, and then took out a cigarette and lighter from his body, lit a cigarette for himself first, took a sip of beauty, and threw the lit cigarette in. Boom! A huge flame rose up instantly, shrouding the position of the Venom in it, the flames burned, the Venom howled and twisted in it, those pitch-black liquids faintly formed a strange human nature, more twisted in the flames, like hands want to escape. Unfortunately, even if those hands can spread outward, they will spasm because of the harsh noise, and they can only twist and twitch and let the flames burn. Flames and sharp noises, both weaknesses have been arranged for you, I still don't believe you don't die. As far as he knows, after the venom leaves the host, its strength and abilities will be drastically reduced, and after three hours, the coat will dry up like dead human skin, and finally dissolve into powder, thus losing its activity. This is not death, but a state of suspended animation, as long as a creature is contaminated with the body, it will merge with it and come back to life. But under the flames, it will face real death, especially now that it has abandoned Eddie, its abilities have been fully degraded, and its resistance to flames has become lower. Leon saw the pitch black liquid and suddenly rushed towards Eddie again, seemingly wanting to remerge with him, and he was waiting for this time. I've been guarding against you for a long time. Leon shot a spider silk, although the spider silk could only last a short moment in the flames, but it was enough for him to tear Eddie out. Eddie was ripped out and landed in his hands, Leon pinched his neck, his claws directly twisted his neck, and Sheng Sheng cut his head off his neck. He threw Eddie's body off the roof of the building and fell down, listening to the sharp screams of Venom and laughing out loud. Like this, I see how long you can hold out. Venom is indeed difficult to be strong but this kind of strength is not invincible to him now, especially when he is prepared, it is even more restrained to death, and now it has directly become a one-sided situation. I have to say that an alien symbiote like Venom is too powerful, and the flame burns for five minutes before it turns it into ashes, and now it seems to be completely dead. When the flames disappeared, he saw that in the original position of Venom, there was an extra box, this box was slightly darker than the box he had touched before. He stepped forward and opened the box, revealing a compartment inside, and in the compartment was not a card, but a mass of pitch black substance the size of a fist, which was surging like water, full of a kind of activity. This is, Venom, quote, the next moment, he heard the system's prompt. Drip, congratulations to the host for defeating the Venom host Edward Bullock period state and obtaining a pure alien symbiote one. Pure alien symbiont, Leon didn't bother to touch the blob, but thought for a moment. Alien symbiotes all have their own self, 
even if they merge with the host, they can maintain themselves, and they will be affected by the host's personality, resulting in good and bad changes. What is this pure body? Could it be an alien symbiote that has been stripped of its drawbacks? Quote. Leon took a deep breath, and finally decided to give it a try, so he reached out and touched the pitch black substance, and when his fingers touched it, he felt a trace of coldness and a kind emotion came from the mass. Under Leon's control, small stripes appeared on the body, and these stripes contributed to a small hexagonal matrix, arranged together with each other to appear on the surface of the body, making his entire body become more and more solid, and the original height of more than 2 meters 2 was slightly shorter than 10 centimeters, without the terrifying grandeur that swelled to the explosion, but some became a terrifying sense of strength. It's never felt like before, it's too strong, it's really too powerful. Leon was thrilled, and he had a feeling that he could now easily tear a tank apart. Can my current self face Hulk Steel? He stretched out his hand, and when his mind turned, he saw that his hand began to change, extending ahead, and quickly flattened, and a sharp blade appeared on one side, and in an instant it became a narrow and sharp blade. Looking at the blade, he nodded in satisfaction. The ability of the symbiote to change is indeed amazing, and the hardness of the things formed after deformation is also very strong. There are many alien symbiotes in the original Marvel books, the most famous is Venom, and then there is Serum, Massacre, etc., I am now fusing with this symbiote, then there should be a name. He looked at his hands, and then he made a decision. From now on, you will be called Blade, you will become the sharpest blade in my hand, and I will use you to slay all enemies in the world. As soon as this thought fell, a soft hum sounded in his head, and at the same time a joyful emotion was conveyed, and he knew that it was the emotion that Blade's extremely young consciousness sent to him. As soon as the thought moved, the blade retracted into his body, and the whole thing returned to its original form, as if nothing had appeared just now. Leon is satisfied, now is not the time to experiment with new abilities. He summoned the system light curtain, and then he saw the change above. Host. Leon. Abilities. 113% Spider-Man, 37% Saber-Tooth Tiger, Alien Symbiote Growing. Number of Projections. 1. You can project twice a day. Closing parenthesis. Good value. 1319. Kill. 348. Growing. So, can Blade continue to strengthen me? Quote. Leon had a smile on his face and was delighted, which he wanted to see. Go project another heroic figure. Leon thought of doing it, and at the moment he had a sense of urgency to become stronger, since he had a plug-in, then he must use this plug-in reasonably, and strive to make himself a person standing on the top of Marvel. Lying in bed, he called out the system again. Projector Mark III Iron Man. Drip, Projection Mark III Iron Man, consumes 95 good points, and the host has 30 seconds to prepare. Leon closed his eyes, he needs to use actual combat to verify his current combat effectiveness, compared to Spider-Man, Iron Man with technological firepower attack is more suitable, especially the weapons on Iron Man's body, which are full of attack power, and are undoubtedly a good opponent. Another point is that he is also very curious about what abilities he can get from Iron Man. 30 seconds later, he appeared at the joint, similar to the place where he had fought the massacre, also in the city, but he could already see the skyline from afar, the sky was blue, and further away, he could not see the end point with his line of sight. Sure enough, as the ability increases, the size of the projection space also increases. He summoned the blade, and a black substance instantly appeared on his body to wrap him, forming the unique shape of the blade, which looked very evil. Boom, with both feet kicking the ground fiercely, the whole person was already shot out like a cannonball, extremely fast, and suddenly smashed a hole in the roof of a 60 or 70 story building. He climbed up to the roof with his hands and feet, shaking off the dust on his body and letting out a low laugh. There are too many power improvements, some are difficult to control, just enough to familiarize yourself with the changes in your body through actual combat. In the distant sky, a figure flew quickly, and the sky was his background, as if he suddenly jumped out of the sun. This figure has a fiery red appearance, a metallic color, and some places also show a brilliant gold color, full of technology. Iron Man, Mark Type 3 suit, the symbol of Iron Man's fame. Iron Man is extremely fast, estimated to have exceeded the speed of sound, 
and in an instant he has come to a few tens of meters in front of him, and then hovered there quietly. Suddenly, Iron Man stretched out his hands, and a small hole was opened in his left shoulder, and something like a muzzle popped out. Beep! Under the high and sharp charging sound, the energy in the palms of Iron Man's hands converged, and the next moment two brilliant rays had already struck towards Leon. Iron Man's shot is very sudden and decisive, without any rhetoric, and there will be no words, after all, it is a projection space, and the characters that exist in it will not have their own will. Leon had already responded, his hands were forward, his arms were quickly glued together, and the black substance spread outward, forming a shield in an instant, enveloping his entire body. Boom, Leon only felt that the impact was coming, and the huge pressure pushed him backwards, although his legs were extremely powerful and did not move the slightest, but his whole person was rushed back by this huge impact, and his legs plowed two marks on the ground. It's such a strong impact, sure enough, as I thought, when the movie becomes a reality, all unreasonable things will become reasonable. The combat effectiveness of Iron Man in the movie cannot be said to be not strong, but it is definitely not the kind of existence every second, especially if he has a suit on his body, but he often likes to fight with people, which makes Leon, who has seen the movie, a little incomprehensible. The whole body is high-tech equipment, shouldn't it strike remotely? It is obviously the equipment of sniper archers, but it often does the work of MT, which is obviously a little unreasonable. How can it be a long-distance strike of heavenly justice? Leon, who resisted this attack, suddenly felt that the Iron Man he was facing now was much more reasonable. If he is still in his previous state, he will definitely be played to death by him in the face of this Iron Man, but now he is not afraid at all. Leon dispersed his shield, his hands changed into two blades, he did not have the slightest damage, and he was still scrappy, his feet stepped on the ground fiercely, and the whole person rushed towards Iron Man. The mini-launcher on Iron Man's shoulder suddenly shot out a dense array of tiny missiles, each no larger than the size of a bullet, but scattered together, attacking Leon from all directions. Leon was in midair without a point of focus, and Iron Man moved to the side, and at the same time those missiles also attacked Leon, and soon arrived in front of him. He didn't doubt the power of these mini-missiles at all, but he didn't panic in the slightest. In his eyes an induction, all the mini-missiles became extremely slow, as if floating towards him one by one, and then his hands moved, and he saw Leon in midair, the blades of his hands began to swing rapidly, and under an afterimage, all the incoming mini-missiles were cut in two. Boom, an explosion formed a sea of fire in midair, and the impact spread around, but in this sea of fire, a pitch-black figure rushed out, and as soon as his hand was raised, a pitch-black spider silk shot out, just sticking to Iron Man. Leon fell, and the spider silk with the Iron Man mech also fell down, and fell to the ground fiercely. Bang! Under the violent impact, Leon shattered the ground, and the place where Iron Man fell was also cracked in the ground. Leon pounced directly on Iron Man, and was attacked by Iron Man's palm cannon head-on. As soon as he raised his arm, he ran directly to the palm and threw himself in front of Iron Man, and the black substance on his arm was bombarded off a piece, but it was restored to its original state in an instant. This resilience, I don't know how many times more than he was before. At this time, he had rushed to Iron Man, and Iron Man had already got up, and the blazing flame in the palm of his other hand just burned the black spider silk, and flames also rose under his feet, ready to take off. But Leon punched him in the head, and Iron Man's whole person was immediately knocked backwards and flew out, smashing a wall fiercely and falling into the ruins. Leon pounced again, this time more ruthlessly, stepped forward and grabbed Iron Man in the smoke-filled ruins, at this time Iron Man was about to get up, there was a slight dent in his helmet, Leon's punch just now was a punch, he didn't know how much strength he had now, but he could make traces of the steel armor made of special alloys and the power was certainly not small. Leon grabbed one of Iron Man's legs, picked him up and slammed him on the ground, and then slammed him left and right, just like dropping a rag doll, Iron Man at this time under this blow, there is no backhand at all. Give me death, Leon showed no mercy, and after each shot, the ground was already cracked, and a large cloud of smoke and dust shook. Beep, boom, but the next moment, he was pasted on his face by a beam of energy. This steel suit has such a powerful defensive capability. My current strength should be able to shake it to death just by using force. Quote. Leon thought it was a little incredible. Leon was fierce, 
his hands grabbed Iron Man's legs, and then he pulled hard to the sides, he wanted to tear it apart with his own strength. Bang, 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 Iron Man naturally wants to fight back, the energy cannon in his hand hits Leon's body, and every time it will tear a wound on his body, but this wound will heal in a blink of an eye, even the huge tear wound will heal in the blink of an eye, and this recovery speed is extremely amazing. Die, Leon roared, his hands gradually forced, the legs of the Mark III mecha were bent by his hands from a distance, and with his force, Iron Man's legs were jumped straight, at this time, even if Leon let go, Tony Stark in the suit must be an absolute word. And with his force, the Iron Man suit finally made an overwhelmed sound, the tearing of metal began to sound, and in the position of Iron Man's legs, it gradually came alive. Iron Man's counterattack continued, but Leon didn't care about it, used all his strength, and finally croaked after tens of seconds, one of Iron Man's legs was torn off, and sparks gushed out with blood. Leon picked up Iron Man's other leg again and beat him on the ground like a stick, blood spilled, and a pool of blood was bound to splatter out with each blow. After a long time, Iron Man's suit had shattered, and Tony Stark inside had been smashed into mashed meat. The overall Mark III type suit, the defense is extremely amazing, even if Leon has been beaten for half a day before, in the absence of damage to the display frame, Tony Stark inside still has not suffered any damage. But when he ripped off one of his legs, the integrity of the suit as a whole has been destroyed, without integrity, the protection is naturally greatly reduced, Leon hit again, without integrity to maintain protection, the suit will naturally become fragmented, Tony Stark's ordinary body, how can it withstand such a beating, and it has become meat mud early. Phew, Iron Man is more difficult than he thought, much stronger than in the movie, high-tech weapons are really not to be underestimated, now his own strength can already be called non-human, there is a blade, protection is not the slightest problem, but for such a firepower strike, if it is a concentrated fire attack, he may have to avoid one or two. Quote. Leon looked at the corpse of Iron Man Tony Stark in front of him, slightly relieved, now his combat strength and defense power have a foundation, in the future in the face of other enemies, he will not have to worry more, at least the foundation has become. Tony Stark's body quickly disappeared, and there was an extra box in the place of his body, and Leon opened the box with four compartments. Four, this is what he gets the most out of the box, in terms of the number of grids alone. The four grids are full of cards, and at this time the system's prompt sound also sounded in time. Drip, congratulations to the host for defeating Mark V suit Iron Man, obtaining Tony Stark's Genius Mind Fragment 4, Tony Stark's Scientific Research Ability Fragment 3, Arc Reactor Manufacturing Drawings 1, Mark Type 5 Suit 1. Leon returned to his original form, his eyes widened at this time, and his face was full of shock. Hey, this is really a big harvest, not to mention the first two, just the production drawings of the Arc Reactor, this thing is already priceless. Leon is very clear about the value of this thing, this is something that can change the energy pattern of the entire world, and it is so easy to obtain, and the Mark V type suit is also extremely valuable, it is a portable suit developed by Tony Stark, usually it is a suitcase, when you use it, you can directly open it to cover the whole body. I have to say, this time it was really sent. What Leon is most satisfied with is actually Tony Stark's genius brain fragment and Tony Stark's scientific research ability fragment, these two things, I think will make his IQ higher, no matter what world, the rich control everything, the poor have nothing, this is an eternal truth. It seems that the plug-in is forcing me to rise, and I have to work hard in this regard. Without much ado, he took out all the cards, and then slapped the genius brain fragments on his body. His head suddenly became cool, and there was no change in his five senses, but he could clearly feel that his thinking seemed to be accelerating, and when a thought flashed, several signs would burst out. Leon nodded, this effect he had expected, and it did not surprise him much, but this ability to enhance the flexibility and intelligence of the human mind sometimes played a role even more than the direct increase in strength. He took out all the cards, and at this time he also just withdrew from the projection space, and the four grids in the box were also added to the system light curtain, and the arc reactor production drawings and the Mark V suit were still lying quietly inside. Leon first used the cards one by one, this process lasted for several minutes, he could feel that his mind was changing little by little, the feeling that could not be said, in short, the mind could feel very clearly, and indeed became more flexible. 
Then he took out the arc reactor to make drawings, which was also a card, and he thought about it for a while after taking it out, and then he also slapped it on his body. The next moment, he only felt a memory poured into his mind, this memory was all about the method of making the arc reactor, all aspects were involved, very complete. If I get all the materials, I can make an arc reactor. Leon smiled, this arc reactor is extremely valuable, he now masters the production method, and can even use it to obtain a rich net worth. Quieting down slightly, he took out the Mark V Iron Man suit again, and the next moment a box appeared in his hand, this box has the size of a suitcase, made of red and gold metal, holding it in the hand does not feel how heavy it is, there are fine lines and cracks on it, which is the reason for the connection of many metal structures. He placed the suitcase on the ground, then stepped on one of the protrusions with his foot, and with a snort, the box cracked through the middle, revealing the intricate structure inside, including two things that looked like handguard pull rings. Leon pulled the two pull rings with both hands, pulled them out, and immediately heard a click, the pull ring was pulled out, and then the pull ring cracked, scattered into pieces of metal to wrap his hands, and then there was a dense mechanical sound, and pieces of metal began to fit together with his arms. He pulled his hands away again, as if he was doing a chest expansion exercise, and pulled the entire box to his chest. Click. Under the sound of a small mechanical combination, the box transformed into a piece of breastplate, which fit tightly to his chest, and then more mechanical structures began to spread from the chest to the whole body, until the whole body was wrapped in position. However, in just 10 seconds, a gold and silver gray suit had already been put on Leon's body, and there was a circular cutout on his chest, which should have been the energy source of Tony Stark's chest arc reactor, but it was not on this Mark V suit. Beep, the energy source is not connected, start the emergency power supply, 5% of the charge, can support flight and combat for 10 minutes. Leon heard a prompt from the suit, and then a light screen appeared in front of him, as well as quasi letters and various indicator cursors, because the room did not turn on the light, but at this time it was presented in front of him in an infrared picture. He moved his hands and feet, and heard the sound of machinery running, which was crisp and pleasant. If you can move for 10 minutes, go out and try it first, and then find a way to build the arc reactor. Leon thought so, and a mechanical voice was heard in his ears. The system lacks a core control program, has been updated to the original settings, has completed the user iris authentication, please name the original system. Leon muttered slightly, suitcase. Quote, the user voice authentication is complete, the naming is successful, and the suitcase startup is complete. Leon immediately felt a lot more relaxed, and he didn't need to make the slightest effort, on the contrary, he felt that this suit was supporting him to make various movements. Go out and try it. He came to the window, gently turned over and came outside, when the body did not fall, slightly shaking his legs, there was a blazing flame under his feet spewed out, a thrust supported him to quickly soar into the air, and in a blink of an eye he had flown hundreds of meters in the air. Oh, the speed exceeded the speed of sound in 10 seconds, and the huge pressure that should have been caused by acceleration was offset by the suit, making him feel very relaxed. I have to say that Tony Stark is a real genius, such an exquisite mechanical structure design, and the arc reactor, his achievements in science and technology are admirable. Leon also had to sigh, and at the same time felt that if the arc reactor was manufactured as soon as possible, he would be able to really control this suit. For him, although this suit can not directly increase the combat effectiveness, but the technology contained in it is very much, people live a lifetime, always have to pursue a little, in terms of strength he has the possibility of continuous growth, then in terms of identity, he must always have an identity that matches his strength. Ooh, Leon shouted strangely, the figure soared into the sky, and in just one minute he had flown to a height of tens of thousands of meters, looking down from here, the surroundings were pitch black, there were stars overhead, only a trace of the ground remained, and only a blurry light could be seen below, and the entire New York City was not as big as a coin in his eyes. Sir, there is an external communication application for access. The only program of the suit suddenly sounded. Leon's brows frowned slightly, the system that comes with this suit is primitive and has a variety of functions, especially in combat assistance. The suit is full of high technology and extremely fast, but this thing is not stealthy after all, so Leon guessed that he should have been detected by radar. Modify the output audio and turn it on. 
After dripping on the ground, a man's voice sounded from the helmet. This is the Coast Air Guard, you have no markings on you, tell me your identity, if we don't get an answer in a minute, we will attack. This is clearly a warning. Leon said, if I don't reveal my identity, what will you do to attack me? Quote. The voice over there obviously paused for a long time, presumably no one had ever provoked them like this, and then said, we will launch missiles at you. Quote. Oh, goodbye then. After saying that, Leon turned off the communication. He didn't expect to be detected so quickly, but it didn't matter, this thing would be exposed sooner or later, and today was just the performance of this suit under the experiment. At the same time, he also understood why Iron Man could fly around the United States, and his feelings were recorded. He didn't stay much, the suit only had about 10 minutes of activity, he also experimented, the suit is indeed very powerful, but because it does not carry weapons, it can only be regarded as a flying mech, which is not of much use to him, but the evil fun can be used to tease Tony Stark. Leon turned around and fell downward, getting faster and faster, until he finally reached a place only more than 300 meters above the ground, his speed slowed down, and he returned home without any surprises, put away his battle suit, and then went to sleep contentedly. What he didn't know was that because of his appearance and departure, the Coast Guard on the New York side had become a mess, but it was not something he needed to take care of, and nothing was important to sleep. The next day was still an ordinary day for Leon, but he was interrupted by an extraordinary phone call. Leon Stacy, I am, who are you? Leon received the call at noon, and it was a deep voice on the phone. I'm Nick Fury, SHIELD Director, Coulson already contacted you yesterday, I have a job for you here, are you interested? Not interested. Leon hung up the phone directly, and then put this matter to the back of his mind, he was very satisfied with his quiet and low-key life now, but some things were destined to be unable to calm down after his identity was exposed. In the evening, the family was eating dinner, suddenly the doorbell rang, Gwen ran to open the door, but when he saw the person coming, he was stunned, and then asked, who are you looking for? Quote, I'm in the National Special Operations Department, looking for Leon Stacy. Leon frowned when he heard this voice, looked up, there was a brine egg standing outside the door, and he wore an eye patch, the appearance was so recognizable that he could guess with his ass who was coming. Nick Fury, I need to see your papers. It was George who spoke, he got up and reached out in front of Nick Fury, Leon was his child, and as a parent, he naturally had to keep the danger out of the door. Nick Fury handed him a certificate, George frowned after taking a look, handed him the document and said, I want to know, what is the purpose of your coming here? Quote. You have no right to know, sir, please let Leon out, I have something to communicate with him in person. Nick Fury said. Leon had already come to him at this time, patted George on the shoulder and said, he should have something to talk to me about, leave it to me. Quote. Have you done anything illegal? George asked seriously. Leon shook his head, and then said, things here are more complicated. Quote. George stared at him, and then nodded, then you are careful, this department is not easy to deal with. Quote. I understand, don't worry. Leon didn't let Nick Fury into the house, it was the life of ordinary people, he didn't want Nick Fury to disturb the George family, so he said, let's talk elsewhere. Quote. Yes. Nick Fury pointed to the car over there and said, I'll take you to a place. Quote. Leon nodded and did not refuse. After meeting Phil Coulson last night, he knew that there would be such a day sooner or later, so there was no unexpected emotion in his heart, but he didn't expect this bald head to come so quickly. The car driven by Nick Fury was obviously modified, and Leon just glanced at it to see that the car was unusual, and he didn't know how many weapons systems were added to it. Speechless all the way, Leon kept silent, thinking about where this person was going to take him, and what was the purpose of finding himself this time, remembering the call at noon, he faintly had a guess that he might be asking for himself. Soon the car stopped in a warehouse, which was empty, and after Nick Fury and Leon entered it, he stepped on the ground, and then he heard a snort, the ground cracked, and a downward staircase appeared. Perhaps seeing Leon's doubtful eyes, Nick Fury spoke, this is a shield base, come down with me. Quote. Leon shook his head at this time and said, my patience has almost been worn out now, you don't say a word along the way, are you ready to dry me? I'm sorry, I didn't have the need to cooperate with you, 
and I wanted to put psychological pressure on me, which is too superficial. Quote. So if you have anything to say now, or I'll leave. If it weren't for Leon's interest in this brine, he wouldn't have followed this time, and in fact he was also eager to see what this Nick Fury had in mind. Nick Fury was not moved, glanced at Leon and said, I need you to help me accomplish something. Quote. Stop, I'm not your subordinate, don't talk to me in this tone, besides, I'm suddenly not interested in what you say now, goodbye. Leon said and walked out without looking back. Five million dollars. What? Leon turned around. Do one thing for me, and I'll pay you five million dollars. Nick Fury said. Leon looked at him strangely, but suddenly smiled and said, Do you think five million dollars can buy me? It's ridiculous. Quote. I need you to reach someone. Nick Fury said to himself. Are you so sure I'll promise you? Leon asked with a smile. Yes, because I offered you a price tag of five million, and you will also get my friendship. Nick Fury said very calmly. Leon shook his head and said directly, Forget it, I have no interest in what you said now. Quote. Goodbye. Leon waved his hand and walked out, but this time Nick Fury did not speak again, looking at his flat look, it seemed that he was sure that he would not leave, but unfortunately, Leon was far more personal than he thought, and walked directly out of the warehouse without returning. At this time, a person came out from below, dressed in a casual suit, short chestnut hair, three-dimensional facial features, and looked handsome in his early thirties. You failed, and now you owe me two hundred dollars. The man shrugged at Nick Fury, and then chased after Leon. Leon didn't go far when he heard footsteps behind him, followed by a voice. Hi man, interested in going for a drink? Leon turned around and saw someone coming, but shook his head and said, that brine fool called me out of the house, I was having dinner, and now he has to pretend to be deep in front of me, this trick is boring, so who are you? What is the purpose of stopping me? Quote. Braised eggs. The people were startled, and then burst into exaggerated laughter. I kind of like you man, it's so interesting, your description is too apt, but it's racist, if you don't want me to report it, how about going for a drink with me? That's humane. Leon just smiled at him, and the man added, you should know me, man. Quote. Leon shook his head. My name is Tony Stark and I'm interested in you. Leon has long recognized him. After all, this guy is too famous in New York, more famous than ordinary stars, young and golden, dashing, proper diamond king old five. It's a pity I'm not interested in you. There is a sentence that Leon did not say. He is interested in the technology that Tony Stark has in his hands. Well, let me tell you directly, let you come over this time, it is actually what I suggested to Nick Fury. What? Leon was startled. Man, this world is going to suffer danger, great danger, our enemies are not on earth, most likely from overhead. Tony Stark said. Leon suddenly shook his head and said, Okay, I know, the earth is dangerous, human beings are dangerous, the whole world will be in danger, but what does this have to do with me? Do you need me to save the world? Aren't you a superhero? Shouldn't those things be your doing? Quote. Listen man, I know your identity, and I know that you have the same power as that little spider, but you are different from him, your power needs to be guided, join us, we can tell you how to use the power in your body correctly. Tony Stark said. Leon sighed, why do these people have to stand on the moral high ground and look down on others? He suddenly felt so tired of talking to this kind of person. My power, how I use it myself, I don't need you to teach it, I'm an adult, I have my own mind and will, can you understand when I say this? Leon showed that Tony Stark could finally understand how Nick Fury felt when he faced Leon, only thinking that this guy was a smelly and hard stone. There will soon be a danger that will sweep the world, this crisis will affect none of us, you, your family, your friends, will be affected, so we need your strength. Tony Stark continued. Leon's brows furrowed, he faintly had some thoughts, according to the original plot, now would not be the time to form the Avengers, right? Is the plot right? Thinking so, Leon suddenly found himself a little drilled, all his mother entered the real universe of Marvel, and what plot is there to speak of? But I'm still not interested, my family, I have enough power to protect. Tony Stark suddenly said, 10 million dollars, accept this mission, I will give you 10 million dollars, just as if I hire you, if you want in the future, I can continue to hire you. Quote. 
Leon stared at him like this for a long time, and then suddenly smiled. Although I don't know why you two have to find me, I feel that you must have encountered a very difficult problem, I am a little interested now, tell me, what do you need me to do? Quote, Ten million dollars is a lot of money, at least he has been reborn so far, and his savings have not exceeded twenty thousand, if he can have ten million dollars, he feels that he can do a lot of things, at least the materials and production required for the arc reactor can be done. He also has some follow-up ideas, people are nothing more than going to a high place, he also wants to create a business of his own, maybe this time is an opportunity. We need you to reach someone, a very dangerous person. Who do you need me to reach? Bruce Banner. Leon felt that such a name was familiar, and he remembered who this person was, but he did not speak, waiting for Tony Stark to continue to explain. He's a very dangerous man, and if I say another name, you'll be familiar with him. Leon tilted his head and motioned for him to continue. Tony Stark said, He is the Hulk, the green monster who made a big fuss in New York City the year before last. Quote, Are you sure I'm going to touch him, not to send him to death? Leon raised an eyebrow and asked. Tony Stark said, No, just to contact him, by the way, I need you to protect the people who are traveling with him, we will have other people to contact him, and you are just accompanying him. Quote, Leon was already able to determine what the danger Tony Stark was talking about, and he nodded after a while, I need to get the money first. Quote, no problem man, in an hour, $10 million will come to your account. Tony Stark smiled. Leon shrugged and said, then let's do it first, I accept your employment this time, and contact me when I am about to leave. Quote, of course, man. Leon waved his hand, and then dashed away. Tony Stark looked at his departing back and smiled, and Nick Fury didn't know when he came next to him and said, he's not easy to control. Quote, of course, I know this very well, but we don't need to control him, with this cooperation, slowly contact him more in the future, we'll always make him trust us, don't worry. Tony Stark said confidently. Nick Fury nodded and walked back, as if talking to himself, you will pay the extra five million dollars yourself. Quote, fact. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.